Dude, I, I'm absolutely, like, I'm getting into so much, like, weather report recently, so, like, I'm just, like, digging, like, funky bass lines. I know this is not a real bass, but it's, a but it's still fine. 3, 2, 1. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B&O stream today on this fine 23rd of October 2023. We got the 23s back in action. Do I ever have, is there any other Monday in the rest of this year that's got a 23? Have I done that already? The odds are... No. You know why? Because I think it's the only um, month with a- Oh wait, no, January had one. Okay, because it's the same as month with a Friday the 13th. So it's like, I missed the uh, Tuesday the 17th, the unluckiest day of the year. I missed that one, so. I hope you're having a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, I'm going to try and boot up Shadow Man. I was going to say Shadow Warrior. We'll get to a Shadow Warrior eventually, but for now, we're not doing a Shadow Warrior. We are... Night diving in. I did that one already. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Now we're just playing Shadow Man. I know it has an intro. The Shadow Men have protected the world of the Shadow Men. Uh, but let's dive back into it. Let me adjust my mic. Uh, but yeah, in the last stream, um, we did one of the serial killer levels. Uh, did a temple. I think every stream has had a temple. Unfortunately, we've got no more temples left. Um, I think we're in... Mm, Home-ish stretch? Sort of? Uh, we're at 82 of the Dark Souls, so we seem to be getting more and more each stream, so... Definitely in the ballpark of, yeah, we could just get the rest if we wanted to. Um, in theory, as well... Uh, I need, I think you need 95 Dark Souls in order to be level 9. That is the, uh, ability to get the last few items you need. Uh, now it is prompting me I can go to the Lava Ducks and get another, uh, four Dark Souls. And let's start off yet another stream with backtracking. Actually, I think, you know, very likely we're probably only gonna have one more stream after this. I don't think this will last us forever. But since I went to the Lava Ducks uh, last time, uh, we now have the ability to swim in the lava. So if I clear out these enemies, I should be able to start swimming in here and we can explore around, which would be good fun. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm gonna hit these, <laughs> these barrels, but I'm not expecting a miracle out of them. So I'm not gonna say like, dude, you've got like so much like teeth bar, you should probably pick up these. Which is very fair. And some health as well. Uh, did I? Oh uh, yeah, I could have gotten the Caddo's traded off and gotten a little more health. I'm gonna be lazy, let's just like, do both the 400 and the 500 at the same point in time. Uh, no need to visit it at 600, we just keep going. Um, yeah, if you... If you're tuning in and you haven't watched the Shadow Man stream, I would like to just say that this is a Metroid-style game. People will add the Vania part, but there's not much Vania. There's no, like, yeah, I guess you got different weapons. Uh, this is the magic of where we can go now. We can swim. Swimming over to this side. Imagine, uh, this is like a circle, and I forgot which direction, but imagine if you start at around 12 o'clock, We've gone clockwise enough to... I'm oh, having a fun time over there. I believe this... This locks the door. There's like an exit out of this other room. On the ceiling. You just have to, you know, swap them. You close one, you open the other. We got baby, we got dude, we got woman, we got all... All the groups. Screaming in the background. Oh, that's what it, this is an easy Dark Souls to go for. I think that's all the ones in this close by. But yeah, it's a Metro game. Uh, explore around, pick up the Dark Souls, and, uh, you know, discover items that allow you to pick up more Dark Souls. Collect uh, most of the Dark Souls, and you're able to you know, kill off the big serial killers, which is the main goal. We've killed one. Um, I'm probably going to spend a fair amount, if not probably the entire rest of the stream, killing the other four. But we don't have the key for one of them, so we're going to need to get to level 9 by getting another 12 Dark Souls, and then I can take them out. So there's the exit over there, but there's also an exit on this side. 
lovely warm lava we got going on this day, right? Yeah. This is going to be fun, trying to remember which areas I have backtracked to. Getting Kado. It's going to be fun. Uh, this is the exact same principle of opening a door and going to another one. Um, yeah. No, I've had I've had stuff happen to me this week. Uh, learning experiences uh, relating around life and work, which sounds very dramatic for what it really is, but effectively it's just it's just yeah, you know, like we keep on keeping on. I say dramatic, it's not really dramatic. Like you wouldn't make a biopic on it. But. You know what? You know what did happen? I mentioned, and I, I know, I know. Here's the Blendos uh, talk of hardware. He rants about people on, on Reddit, which is usually the case. Uh, this one though extends beyond Reddit, uh, but it's still ballpark. You know, I guess I should preface. And I'm, I'm, uh, I might have said this in other streams, but I'll always preface. Uh, whatever I find on Reddit or really other kinds of websites, like community kinds of websites, it's not that individual people really believe these ideas, it's that you get like a decently large group of them thinking these ideas, and that's not that bad, but then it's a problem when you know that they've influenced other people into thinking, like outside that, that click, outside the internet click, into you know, believing that a thing is a certain way, when demonstrably, you know, maybe it's not quite right, maybe it's also, it gives a false impression. Uh, I think in the case of, uh, we've seen big companies maybe make a, a statement. I love this. It's like drum machine kind of sample going on in the back, I guess. Yeah, no, no, that counts. Yeah, it's a drum machine. This is a fun, like, little room just full of, like, some boxes that you can platform up as well. I'm a big fan. Because it's just, it's just raw, like, platforming. I really love for that to auto-lock on, though, so I'm gonna have to just jump a bit close. Oh, you still are not gonna auto-lock on. Come on. This is on the other side of the fence, ain't he? Uh, you saw that door there as well, right? This is that door. I don't know why it exits up here. There's no point. If anything as well, all this is is that this is just like a re-exit if you wanted to for some reason. But you can just... Oh, you can't jump out. Whose idea was it to drop down here? That's okay, we'll just figure out the jumps again. Um... Now, usually this is in the context of hardware, but it is sometimes in the context of games and other kinds of things. And that's generally been my approach to uh, not caring about these sites after a while, is ultimately, at the end of the day, how detrimental is it that people on the internet say a certain thing? And the answer is, very rarely it happens, but very rarely does it really mean anything. It is, although, a little confusing and upsetting when it does leak out into the people that you do know and care about and uh, making ill-informed purchasing decisions based on reactionary content on the internet. Open the stage for Intel 14th Gen, the brand new line of processors by Intel for desktop LGA 1700. Uh, LJ 1700 has been a socket that's been out since, um, in the 2021. I was thinking, did they, they jumped the gun, they did two generations in 2021, because, uh, 11th gen was January 2021, which seems like not that long ago, but it is ages ago. Do you think that this area goes on, like, for ages, but it's actually just a bit of a dead end, it sort of just loops back? Which means you do actually need to climb up and out that way. It is, yeah, it is a, a dead end, but yeah, you get a Dark Soul and some kind of... Uh, also, I just want to know, I did look up where all the secrets for are. 
and mildly undocumented. Uh, they're not in the same places that they were in previous patches of this remaster. So, um, I've already gotten 8 out of 20. Uh, I will try my best to note the others, but I have definitely not walked past any, I think. I, I mean, I wrote down the list of which ones I did get, which ones I didn't get. Um, so I definitely know... I, I have a strong feeling I haven't, you know, let one go and we're just gonna have to awkwardly backtrack and just see nothing but a secret. I think they're all in places that I've not fully explored, so. Uh, but yeah, open until 14th gen. The TLDR is everything I said at the end of the last stream was exactly it. It was a Raptor Lake refresh. It was not the media lake that was theorized and hoped for. We knew that going in because they were struggling to get more than uh, six cores really working well, which meant that was okay for an i5, but unfortunately Intel likes having their crown. So rather than releasing a regressive generation like they did with the 11th gen, which was poorly received, I might add, I just, it's very important to set the scene that Intel, the reason why 12th gen was such a massive jump was because 11th gen was a failure in an attempt to get that jump. Um, and Intel's often been like that. Um, maybe it's just something really angry as well. Uh, like, just because one generation is bad doesn't mean that now they're on the back foot. Unless it, they were committing to it. Um, Media Lake is definitely, like, you know, not coming to the desktop. I guess that's probably a thing. It might come in... That's a, that's a fun... That's a fun word. I have to turn down the audio every time I, like, I edit this game in post because it just absolutely, like, crushes the soundscape. I don't remember some of these songs. They must have been added in much more recently, right? Gosh, they're all vibes. They're all vibes. I should just listen to this on its own. Uh, and while I'm at listening to it, I might as well start murdering some people with a bit of fire. I'm going to use some of this just... Uh, yeah, uh, now, I'm also not saying, oh, just because there's a bad generation doesn't mean, and I, I really want to cement this point right now. The reason why 14th gen Intel on desktop, and in particular, it's just the 11900K, 11700K, and the, did I say 11? 14900K, 14600K, and 14700K processors. They've only released three. They're bound to release, oh, and they've released uh, f so so those versions without the integrated graphics that cost a bit less. Um, and, uh, but other than that, it is a refresh generation. Unlike 11th gen, there is virtually no attempt at making the generation better. Yes, there was another door. I did see that one in the water, in the lava. Uh, up here right now. You're gonna, you're gonna have to accept it. We're just exploring around, you know? I'm pretty sure we got the Dark Soul in that room. Yes, there are two of these uh, turbine rooms. You just have to note that. Um, I really like these enemies. The, uh, very slow, but the, the semi-auto, the burst fire, it's not semi-auto, it's semi-auto if it uh, fires one bullet. That was a fun misnomer I'd always do, like, when I was younger, I'd always think, like, burst fire was semi-auto. But no, semi-auto means it, it self-chambers um, a bolt-action rifle, or uh, a shotgun, or a revolver. That's not self-loading, and therefore it's not semi-automatic. You have to load between shots. And that baby is crying. So it came up via these stairs. And I wish I could have done that. Okay, we'll wait a bit. Uh, so yeah, unlike Intel 11th Gen, Intel 14th Gen, as a refresh generation, did not actually introduce any new technologies. The only thing that you really get that is a different point on the box, other than, I think the clocks are like 100 megahertz higher, just because the process is a little better and they can do that. This just loops around, there's actually nothing else up here. Interesting. Alright. Uh, if... 
Uh, I want to go right. Yeah, there's no down. We went out that way. We need to go through here because that's where we entered from. Love the shadows, by the way. Shadow Man every time with the shadows. Uh, the only selling point on the box is that the i7 14700K has 12 E cores and the same 8 P cores as before, as opposed to 8 E cores. Uh, now, the E cores are efficiency cores, they are lower clocking, and uh, in the clusters, they actually have things like there's only three floating point modules for every four cores. Um, so, you may find that the performance is better or worse across the E cores than the P cores, depending on what you're doing. Um, but at its best, it's actually not that bad. They're actually fairly, like, good at what they do. Like, they, they do a fairly decent amount of work, and they are energy efficient. Is the, uh, stab um, they're energy efficient in the sense that, well, they're lower clocked and they run a bit better. Uh, now, unfortunately, for Intel, um, you know, just because you have 12 lower clock cores that consume less power doesn't mean the other eight uh, a lot of power. That is why overall power consumption on these is um, a, little, a little higher. About the same, but a little higher. Because you're trying to pull the clock. You're trying to make it a bit aggressive. But other than that, it's exactly the same. The 14900K is the same processor, but clocks a little higher. The, six, the 14600K is the same processor, but clocks a little higher. Um, people buying these processors before I even mention the price, before I even mention the market, just know it's the same processor. And at the end of the day, if you see a 13600K for less at all, go with the 13600K. The equation's a little different on the i7. You get to weigh up whether those equals mean something to you. But for the other, yeah, for the 14900 yeah, don't. Don't if it's less. There's no point. Um, I believe we go into this room later. I mean, there's enemies, so I definitely didn't go in here, but... Oh! 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 Top of my head! Top of my head! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Wah! Bit of a dim room, ain't it? Keep wandering in here. Got shadows, got some fun stuff. And drop oh, down, yeah. secret area. Weirdly, in the drop. That one I looked up. I was like, yeah, I remember what this looks like. So there you go. Oh, I'll get these guys. Um, so now I would like to introduce uh, what I call as the Blender Rubric for caring about anything, I guess. Uh, at least when we talk about products on the market. Uh, the answer is, on an absolute level, what does this product do for you? And, and you, could, you could probably apply this to anything. Um, then relative to other things on the market, how good is it? And then relative to the purchasing price, the, the spending power, the amount of like, you know, maybe the, how much money, you know, you think people are willing to spend, how much, uh, you know, how much does it cost, uh, you know, weigh that up. I think that the generation is really only considered good if it somehow manages to achieve all three. It happens. It definitely happens. I'm, it's not an impossible metric, but you will find that people will criticize things if they fail any one of those three. Um, I think a good example of one that fails the absolute but seems okay given the market and the general price, maybe not, maybe not the, maybe not relative to the world, um, is VR. I think a lot of people uh, were a little bit, you know caught out by VR. They think on an absolute term, didn't really deliver in the same way. Now, I'm not saying that about everyone, because obviously someone's going to be like, oh, I like VR. Exactly. If you like it, that's cool. But I think that for some people, and myself included, you do lose... This room is familiar? This room is familiar.
Doesn't that mean that we've been here? I know we... Oh, we got everything. Okay, but, uh... Yeah, sure, yeah. I was thinking there was a, um... There was another secret. It involves... And I'll show this off, and then we can maybe theorize of how to get there. Because unfortunately, I wasn't there. Oh, hi there. This man is down there. Um... <laughs> Listen, I, I, I want to do one more stream after this one, uh, next week. That's it, you know. We've still got a little more time for Spooky Month, so... Uh, but I just want to note that there is indeed... Oh, was it here? It made it look like it was here. It might have been on a different level then. Yeah, it would have been on a different level. Okay, cool, cool. In that case, we're actually set. We're fine. Uh, so that level is all Dunskis, all Dunzos, Donitos. Um, we've got more Dark Souls in the Temple Fire, but not enough to complete it. Uh, they really want me to clear off the playrooms, don't they? Uh... I think we should be good checking out the, um, the Asylum. The, the Asylum's a bunch of levels. But the Experimentation Rooms, which we have spawned halfway in. This is the level that keeps looping around and keeps doing all these wacky, wacky places. But now we have a bunch more tools at our disposal to access more areas if we need to. Um, so I guess... Oh, that drill just kind of started and stopped. It's because I, I loaded another song, didn't I? Um, but uh, last time we came here, I, didn't, I couldn't even walk on lava. So this should uh, help make this area a bit easier to navigate if... You know, that was trying to figure out which rooms I didn't already go into. So I feel most of these ones. Um, but yeah, so my three terms, the absolute, the relative to the rest of the market, and then the relative to uh, you know, the world, the absolute price. Um, let's talk about 14th gen Intel. On an absolute level, I think this is the part where the 14th gen is woefully being misrepresented and I say this as a 13900k user you see there's this door here we've got way more we can go see as a 13900k user I feel like I have a bit of self-authority on telling you probably exactly how the 14900k will behave um, there are bound to be some better, you know, like more accurate results, of course, if you've got, if you can clock a bit higher, sure. Uh, I use, uh, a, uh, a 13900KF, um, I think my pro my process, sorry, my motherboard's a, a Gigabyte Z790 Gaming XAX, um, which is not, like, a flash board, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, mild of a board, but... Uh, it does the job because most of these boards are pretty overbuilt for like my stock use case anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already explored in here, so I'm trying to piece together in my head where they want me to go. So I guess we're just kind of exploring around until we find anything anywhere I haven't been to. Yeah, unfortunately, like there's so many... We are just back here? How did we manage to get back here? What an interesting development of, of corners and turns. I love the sound of the fish. I guess we just go this way then, because I know it exits out this way. Um, but yeah, on an absolute term, I do feel like the 13900K, and by extension probably the 14900K, are very good processes. And, and, and on top of that, I just want to note the 14900K and like all the other processors, are not regressive in any way. It doesn't seem like there's really any tests where it does worse. It seems like they're always percentage points better. I don't think that's enough to spend any more money on it. But it's definitely one way, hey, you know, put both next to each other at the exact same price. Yeah, I'd take, I'd take the 14th gen. Oh my gosh, I was thinking, like, oh man, it looks like faces. I think that's intentional. Uh, so, uh, yeah, on an absolute level, I think that these processes do what they need to do. Someone will say, 
okay, but what about power consumption? Have you seen... And, and I'm gonna pull up an example someone sent to me, and this is not a, you know, a rip into them. But it is a rip into the, uh, the general statement of, you know, what's this figure being used for? Uh, because I think it sort of shows that, like, you know, it is, we can misrepresent and misuse things. Uh, misuse values that are legit. But, like, you know, what, I, th how do I phrase it? The important thing is, what is your use case? And I'm not saying that, like, you know, oh, you know, the processor does this, therefore, you know, your example is invalid. Because it doesn't mean that. But, uh, my use case, uh, I saw the, uh, the tech power-up, um, charts of, uh, the power draw on the processor itself during certain gaming scenarios. We can look down here and probably find some more kiddos. I mean, there's going to be 12 more somewhere around here, and a Dark Soul, and also the Violator, which we should be able to get. Oh, we're just like wandering, at, wandering down here. There's you know. Uh, but yeah, on this chart uh, was a lot of games that I can't vet. I I don't own. I can't verify. Um, but there was one I could. Uh, I, I did own Borderlands 3, but Borderlands 3 looks like it was very low on the power consumption side. It was actually... Um, oh gosh, I'm going off the top of my head, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, but it looked like it was about 80 watts on the, um, on the 14900K in their tests. But Doom Eternal said it was 175, maybe 180 watts. I should double check the charts again, but I was seeing a chart of... Like just the bar lines, so I'm I'm kind of judging based on the the grid lines, um, but it looked like 180 watts, and I'm like, 180 watts seems really high, and it, and it is because a lot of people will say, oh processors, you know, you used to be like 95 TDP, 95 watt TDP, and now it's like 253. Like what's going on there? Um, I would definitely say as a 9700K user in the past, in the past life. Um, the 9700K used to draw maybe 200 watts if you were like really going for it. Um, maybe 180. I I think you just needed to turn off your power limits. But by default, I had a power limit set much more conservatively. Um, it had boosting. It had like a turbo window. It would push higher for a few seconds, but you'd have to turn that off. Or you had one of those motherboards that turned it off by default. That's not an uncommon occurrence, but I think a lot of people, when they say stock, um, there's a different meaning. Stock might mean out of the box. Stock might mean the Intel base spec. Stock might mean uh, someone else's definition. There might be a lot of possibilities, so um, whenever someone says stock, uh, I'm not saying discount their opinion, but like, we can't, we gotta just classify it as like part of a range of figures um i can definitely say my motherboard like at stock didn't have you know the power limit set it was set to much higher values by default um, and that meant that the uh yeah my 9700k would draw a lot of power it would always hit 100 degrees um once i got a uh an nhd 15 it wouldn't hit 100 degrees it would be much lower and that was pretty good that was nice um but i couldn't upgrade to a newer processor because unfortunately my uh nhd 15 i got before lga 1700 so it's doing me all right it's it's doing me fine um so i i, I had to order a mounting kit uh and that took a fair bit of time and then i did and then i upgraded to a 13900k and i think the 1300k is probably a bit overkill for what i even do also oh did you see that by the way your body's immune to fire because you can swim in lava. Like, what's the? I love that. It's so good. It's so cool that that's the case. Uh, I know this goes back up to the top, but I guess we're kind of full exploring again. So let's just keep exploring, shall we? Oh, I remembered exactly where we can we can look. We're gonna check up here just in case. I know that door leads to this whole stinky path where we fought the uh, 
the enemy, and I'm not going to look in there because I know that's going to be a waste of time. But I'm not 100% sure if I picked up everything at the top, so I'm just double checking up here. Uh, so I go, um, 180 watts seems really high for a 4900K in game. Games in particular are very bursty, and uh, I think the phrase you might see some people say is, um, like, slightly threaded, or mildly threaded, or lightly threaded. Um, you know, some mixture of the, the words. Um, but effectively, they're just saying that, like, you're not putting every single core on the processor under a full load. And full load might mean different things depending on who you ask as well, because it's like, well, are you using AVX2? Are you using AVX512? Of course you're not, you can't. It's Intel. They, they, removed, they removed their own instruction set. Um, I never really, like, even when I had a processor that had AVX512, I'd never really got, you know, the opportunity to leverage it. This is a jump. Can we check around here? If I didn't, then my hunch, my hunch was right. Someone's gonna be like, ooh, it was the top. My hunch was right, I had missed that ages ago. Very important. Always check your bases. Alright. Give a bit of a drop. Um, so, so my theory was, I don't know if the processor would actually draw 180 watts in Doom Eternal. So what I do, well, I have Doom Eternal. So I booted it up. I don't know what their test scene is in Tech Power. So Grain Assault, also Grain Assault. I don't know quite what their graphics settings were, but I did try a variety. So Ballpark maybe would be around the same point. So, but what I did when I started the game was I picked a scenario that was real to me. This is what I would be playing the game at. In fact, I, I just went through, I configured the settings until I liked how the game was running. Um, that ended up being, let's just go 4K, turn the HDR on, turn the settings up to the max, and then uh, see what the performance was like. Um, I even turned on DLSS. Um, because it was, it wasn't quite hitting. This was with the ray tracing on as well. It wasn't hitting. Um, it was really only going like the 70 FPS. Uh, maybe it was based on the scene I was in. Maybe it was because I had stuff running in the background. Um, that was the frame rate I was getting. At. Um, I thought that's fine. Let's let's just start with that for the day, for the time being. I I start monitoring my processor. I playing the horde mode and just whatever the first match is because I have not played the machine yet. So, I can't tell you what it's like in a, I guess, just a regular single player game. But I can tell you that Horde mode, where you do just fight a bunch of enemies, is a scenario. It's a scene. Um, yes, that's right. The spinning room of Doom is uh, actually part of where you need to go. And they got uh, one of these uh, hole in the floors. There's no fancy place to drop. It's not like you're waiting for it, I think. I think, I hope. There's a cat out. I know what they're doing. Um, so what did I get? I got 130 watts. 135. I also was not running... I was running stuff in the background. This wasn't a completely like sandbox scenario like Tech Power Ops might have been. This was completely realistically I'm drawing 130 watts so I'm going like I'm not underclocking I'm not under vaulting I'm not underclocking what's going on so then I'm like okay I'm gonna try some different graphic settings in game oh my gosh weird dog thing uh I tried some different graphic settings let's turn on DLSS now I'm getting 144 frames a second we're hitting my V-Sync uh or G-Sync I guess uh, frame limit you know okay it's like 140. It's like a little bit higher, and that should probably hint at what what the uh, what the the problem is. Realistically, I'm not playing the game at at 1080p. I'm playing at 4K. 4K means you know greater intensity of graphics to render the scene, 
Therefore, your processor does less work because there are fewer frames being presented. I love this area, by the way, where it's like, it's just this like windy like tower. It only just happens in this one bit. You go up and then it's like, oh, okay. Well, you can shoot the floor and drop down. You know. to get out it's a bit fancy um so i went okay so let's drop the settings let's go 1080p and even with all the settings on I, you know i'm still getting i mean it's, this is probably a you know a moot point but it's like okay i'm, I'm at 1080p dlss is off uh, i'm still getting 140 fps or 144 fps the tower's about the same 40 watts um, i then turn off v-sync and I turn down the settings, and now I'm getting basically 500 FPS. I'm getting a very, very high FPS number. And at this point, this is when I'm getting 175 watts. I'm still not getting 180, and I'm still running stuff in the background. So it's it's still a little bit, a little bit mm, the value seems a little high, but you know, margin of error, different test setups. My motherboard's different. My processor might just be bin differently uh they're running a 14900k i'm running a 13900k and there may be some, some discrepancy here and there. but under the scenarios that i knew i'd play at um oh did you did you expect a did you expect a, a little uh, a little horde room where uh there's one of them comes at you just, yeah, it's just, it's just chilling, it's vibing. Um, yeah, realistically, I'm not drawing that much power, and I think that is a big, you know, like, huh? What's going on now? I feel like, hey, if I was playing Cyberpunk, maybe, maybe I might actually be, you know, oh, I'm not rendering the frame rate off my monitor, and therefore. Maybe their test is a lot more in line with what I'm experiencing. But at least for Doom Eternal, that figure they gave, it is an accurate figure. And and especially when you compare it to the test, and then it's like, oh, that's the same frame rate number they were getting. That's fine. It's the problem of people then say the game draws that much power. No, the game under those settings draws that much power. But I don't run those settings. I run high graphics. My processor almost in all cases to be honest is never going to be the bottleneck i'm never maxing out my processor in some capacity i guess all games max out in some way um, but usually it's like okay one core is like peaking out um here it's like yeah the processor was only really fully used when you dropped the graphics all the way and even then i don't, I don't know if it well, probably was they test with a 4090 i have a 4070 ti oh drop them Hello. How are you doing? Did you get the dark soul with you? So check it out. We got the Violator. There was another Violator to be found. Um, in the original game, you would only get it in the other place. Because remember, this level is only in the, uh, the remaster. It's not in the original versions of the game. Um, so yeah, uh... So there's four more caddos. Do I keep looking around or do I just save it for time and go, yeah, nah. <laughs> it's a lost cause. I think it is a lost cause. <laughs> like, as much as I'd love to get all the caddos, there is no reward. There is no merit for getting all 666 beyond the Steam achievement, which I've already gotten. So... I'll call it there for getting all the stuff. We got the, the Dark Souls. That's the main thing I wanted to go out and get. Now that weapon, by the way, it's a weapon. You don't need a. You, know, you don't need it. Uh, it's still saying there's two Dark Souls in the path uh, in the prophecy chamber. So let's let's have a crack at finding these, and then we can go to the serial killer levels because we're still eight Dark Souls away from you know. I, I like. There's probably. I think probably. Let's see. I mean, let's see. We're probably going to kill three, three serial killers. So that's going to get us at 90. I wish you could see your 
the total is right there, I don't know where I'm looking. Um, and then, uh, probably get like nine there, so. Yeah, we're probably good. Uh, so yeah. Now, I'm not also not saying that my processor never draws that much power, because I can guarantee if I'm running Cinebench, it will max out 253 watts, which I've just set the power limits to, and it's probably going to thermal throttle anyways. Just a little bit, just a bit, a bit shy on the top, but yeah, no, it, it does draw a lot of power. Um, and I'm also not making the case that the Ryzen 7950X does not just do a better job power-wise anyways. But you know what a 7950X doesn't do as well? It doesn't do some single-core workloads better. It also doesn't do some all-core workloads better. Ignoring power. Um, depending on where you are, power is either a luxury or it is absolutely, uh, you know, cheap as. Uh, and I guess it depends on where you are. And you should weigh this up, along with what, you know, what you're using it for. For me, my life ends when an emulator is running below its 100%, you know, frame rate. Uh, I would really, really appreciate if I never had to run into that opportunity again. I think probably all Intel, I mean, most of the time when you buy processors these days, you, the expensive ones just get more cores, you know. You can buy a 13600K, it's probably about the same. I am really struggling to understand where I'm navigating without the 9 door, because I'm also imagining that 9 door is... Yeah, like this is a dead end. Where's it keep pointing me to? Because that 9 door probably just leads to... Uh, oh, we can check it here. That 9 door probably just immediately leads to the fogometers when we get the last key uh but there's certainly like a seven door maybe that's a trick i'm just gonna walk back and there'll be a seven door i just keep wandering here and i go oh where's the where's the goods oh it's the worst part i know off the top of my head exactly where it is and, and, and I know it's a linear corridor, and there's not really that many places it could be. Because, yeah, we get to this room, and then it's like, oh, it's always a dead end. Where do I go? I never just consider climbing back a little bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think at the end of the day, though, it's like... Just because this processor is, like, more energy inefficient, it's like, people should really know where the, you know, where, where the benches are. What, what are they actually benchmarking? Is this realistically what you're using the processor for? For me, no. Like, I infrequently will, you know, burn the all core. Uh, I, it comes in handy during video rendering, because I do processor, I do CPU rendering for the, the streams when I... Not while, while I'm streaming, but after I stream. You can use Anthink, you can get really good quality when you're at a high bitrate. That's literally, that's the only reason this door exists. It's just to pop up up here. Is there another door up here, or no? I guess we can touch here. Get some more caddos, but... I must be going insane, because there must be, like, a method to the madness of, like, why it keeps recommending two Dark Souls here. And I'm just, I just keep looking at it and going, where? 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 Very odd. I'm gonna need to figure it out eventually, but I'll just, I'll just ignore it. Actually, instead of ignoring it, I've got a guess. Not Johnny though. Johnny is not my guess. But yeah. Now that's a that's an absolute comparison. Then we get into the relative compared to the rest of the competition. To which I would then say, well, you know, in the absence of Ryzen releasing new processes, like you know, there is nothing higher clocking that does outperform the 14900K when it comes to, you know, some workloads. And I'll, I'll just say that because uh, the obvious, um, you know, what's the term? The elephant in the room. 
is that uh, unlike last time when Intel released 13th Gen, you know, against Ryzen 7950Xs and stuff, um, this time Intel has to release it against the. Uh, oh, didn't I already go in here? Yeah, I already did. I okay, cement in my head. I've already been there. Uh, let's just go to the. Fine, fine. Come on, slow. Oh, yeah, they'd all be in like the scent. Because, yeah, there's a symbol here, and I know we can't address that yet. But, uh, yeah, this area's got a lot of lava, so we'll probably find something we couldn't find before. As well as also all these bits, which probably have a bunch of shadows. Like there, for example. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, the comparisons nowadays will show, oh, like, Intel wanted to get the crown back from the X3D CPUs. Um, I mentioned the Factorio test last week as well, just, just know that, um, as much as I'm going to rip into some reviewers later on, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, they're looking for the X3D CPUs to get the crown back, um, but, yeah, since it is the same as last gen, you get the same basically. You'll win the test where the 3DV cache is not in, uh, you know, in handy. Things like Blender, things like uh, Cinebench, um, some games like Factorio under high loads, you run out of, you know, the V cache and it drops off a bit. Um, but when the V cache is useful, well, they win. You know, no 14900K will beat that. Uh, and given that their percentage points are very, very marginal, if at all, yeah, the yeah, there's there's no. There's no way Intel are going to somehow beat the extra DCPUs in those cases. I'm still under the impression that it is not the end of the world if you don't have the extra DCPUs. Some people do say, oh, but it's the best, it's the cream of the crop. When the 5800 extra D came out, it was a very remarkable processor to be topping the charts at that price. Um, it still is the 7800 extra D that is. But we're also in this point where now there's higher core count processors very winning the other cases and i'm not saying that makes it bad in gaming cases i'm i'm just saying that like depending on what you do the 58 or the 7800 x3d is not at all the thing you should be buying um, to some degree i would argue maybe the 7950 x3d is a very interesting processor but it is also a bit expensive um, but the 7950x is still a great processor so i would never i would never like deny or even let people like people should get that one if they think that they want some you know, lower power workloads that do all right um, and uh, or if the old core is like you know you could, you could be a little bit off the top for performance if you're patient a lot of these processes do the job as well and and, and that's a big thing as well like legit if you do some video rendering You'd be amazed how far the i5 or the 8 cores get you. Like, you don't need all the fancy shenanigans. This is a room where you push buttons on the walls. The first time I, like, went in here, I was like, oh, what's going on here? Because remember, this is just casually in the first temple. Kiddo, kiddo, kiddo. big mallets why not so yeah now the last thing and i think this is the important thing is relative to the price how worth it is it to get a 14900k now this highly depends on your market and i would very very encourage you don't take my word for it because please just look up your actual market and then you'll know you'll know the answer um it sort of looks like this like a door over here or that over there i know i just walked through this whole area to get up to the top and then i dropped down but yeah i should have put that ages ago um but yeah check your market here in australia uh we are mildly sane we saw these launch prices which uh for reference it is the exact same launch price as the 13th gen i think for all of them basically not even adjusting, uh, adjusting for inflation. 
it is the price, the same price, which is fair. Um, I guess for being the same generation, you sort of expect maybe it is a bit cheaper. But you know what the Australians do? You drop the price within 24 hours. You could get some of these processors, like I'm very certain the 4900KF launched at um, 1,039 bucks, or maybe around there. I know the uh, the non F version was 1,100 basically. Uh, yeah, you could get the that 4900K for 939 bucks. It's dropped by 100 bucks. Uh, the um, I guess it's still it's not there yet. It needs to be cheaper than the 13900K to be worth it. Uh, same thing with the with the 14600K. I think it's 30 bucks more than the 13600K. So you know, uh, yeah, it's it's close, but it's not there yet. But the 14700K is also 30 bucks more than the 13700K. And on day one, I'm like, you know what? If if you know, one, you can tame the power because it still draws more power. You gotta you gotta keep that in mind. But 30 bucks more. You get four more recores, that might be a good a good buy. And that's the big thing, is that like we rip into these processes on the internet because a lot of people are just saying they're irredeemable, they're a waste of sand, yada yada yada. Um, and and sometimes this gets parroted by some big reviewers. Uh, Gamers Nexus sorta of had a very snarky and um, somewhat like I'm not saying it's an unfair review because then people will be like, oh Intel fanboy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like dude, I'd say the same thing. I actually did say the same thing about like the 3600 XT. Um, and then I was like, oh, they, they released the the 14600K video where they addressed that they, you know, it was like, oh, you know, we said the 3800 XT was a waste of sand, but it's like, yeah, but they had a good sample of 3600 XT, and like their opinion was super good on that one. It was the 3800 XT where, because they had a bad sample, they just said it was terrible, but I don't know if they were consistent enough to say that about all of them. They did joke about the price being higher, though. Uh, in that review and it is an older review so maybe their opinions have changed over time but at least for me it's like mm, you know like that's the same thing but just the naming convention was different and are we really holding that much weight to a naming convention is the fact that it's a 14 you know 900k does that really mean a ton um somewhat yes actually it does it does actually mean a bit um, I'd say it does mean more than the 3600 XT, and I'd be very lying if I said uh, it wasn't, because uh, it's a bit disingenuous so, <laughs> if I did that. But I would also make the, the, the argument of it is just a name. We as DIY people know better, and if you're applying pre builds, well, you're probably not going to get a choice between a 13 and a 14 900K, anyways. You're probably going to get it for the exact same price, therefore, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Dang it. They pulled the droppy shaloppy on me. So... Yeah. Now, we get into a little bit of a... A little bit of an interesting point as well. Um, Hardware Unbox. In their video, I just want to know. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know... Giveth and taketh the praise. Hardware Unbox, in their video for the 4900K... Actually, I think for all of them. Mentioned... And they brought up, and they actually showed the Factorio test that they always do for the CPU benchmarks, showing wildly large gains on the X3D CPUs. They mention people said this doesn't represent the larger maps, so they tested with a larger map and found, yes, it doesn't gain an advantage. That is exactly the thing I said last week, and I'm glad that they showed that off. Because, realistically, you know, we need to keep some realistic comparisons in mind. We, I don't think you get the full picture if a reviewer is benchmarking games at like the lowest settings possible, at low resolutions. It gets you the scaling, but you want to know what's your realistic usage in places. And without being able to test every single combination of hardware, because it's impossible, I think it'd be best to get a range and also, uh, you know, maybe you might think this is excessive, but I'm like, I think all reviewers should try out some weird combinations. Try out some things that make sense. Go, hmm, you know, what people would pair with a 
14600K, maybe a 4060Ti or a 47, and you just, you just show what that does. What's the power? What's the frame rate? Is it consistent? Uh, you know, are there any weird like usability quirks? There's, there's so many ways that you can go about a review. And as much, and, and you don't need to show everything. I think a lot of these reviewers, it's like, man, you know, like, legit, cut your measuring rubric down a ton. You don't need to keep testing, like, the 10600K, I feel. We get, we get it. We get the 10600K. It's not even like, uh, I mean, it's good for relative performance. I don't know. To me, to me, I, I don't gain much from seeing that many, like, sorry. Okay, okay. I take it back a little bit because it's like, oh, it would be cool to see the 10600K in places. I don't want to see, like, a ton of you know, CPUs, I don't like seeing like 30 or 40 CPUs sometimes, just to be like, yeah, like, I, I know all the Zen 3 CPUs will perform basically the same in games. I like the two little ledge that you keep exiting out onto as well. And these are just the two at the front, there's still two more on the inside that uh, are being pointed to. So was that at 89? How many were we at when we started the stream? Was it 83? <laughs> Taking an hour barely getting any Dark Souls. That's okay. I I think we'd definitely be done at the end of the night, the next stream though. I don't think there's any like room for margin of uh of error going on there. Did I get a secret by the way? And I didn't show off the secret. You get vertigo. Which uh Slows the music and the sounds go all over the place. Very interesting. That's gonna throw everyone off. Uh, look at these two little exits right here. Uh, but yeah, now I do wanna I do wanna rip Hardware Unbox a little bit because uh, they do their weekly Hardware Unbox podcast. Um, it's definitely worth a, a listen if you enjoy tech stuff. I like their more unscripted opinions. I think that. Like, as much as I will rip into them for a thing they said on that, I also don't hold it that strongly. Um, so I believe you can just stand in this fire as well. It's just, it's just all... Fire doesn't mean anything anymore. Uh, hey there, sisters. They're gonna awaken at a very, very convenient time. Maybe right when I get to the top. Or maybe in here, even. Wow. The sister's awake. The sister's awake. Got it. Uh, but yeah, so what did they say? Well, they, um, I think Steve said, uh, that, like, he doesn't see the 14th gen being that high in sales. Uh, and you can definitely see that they're not having a good launch week on Amazon. Now, um, I would definitely imagine launch week is definitely like, yeah, it's important, but it is also always a struggle um, because your processor needs to meet those three conditions I said earlier. It needs to be uh, objectively good, just on an absolute level. It needs to be relatively good compared to the rest of the market, which is still true. And it needs to be relatively good for price, which is not true at its retail price, unless like 13th gen is also the same price, but here it's not, and it's not worth it. It's not worth getting a 14th gen right now. Uh, but I wouldn't argue against it if it just showed up in a pre-built and had no other options. Like, I don't know, but they're good. It's just, you know, the price. Uh, and we'll get into this whole thing with the name anyways later, but, uh, but yeah, he said that, you know, they wouldn't sell well, and, you know, maybe that'll be true. But then he said, maybe the only place you'll see these being sold for more, it's pre-builds, yeah. and laptops, and that's when I go, huh? And now Tim did sort of mention Media Lake is the generation, that, there's an actual new generation in laptops. Um, he wasn't, he sounded like he wasn't 100% sure of the name, and it did also make it sound like Steve wasn't aware that there is a new Intel generation. It's just... Right now, 
and, and I guess especially because it is the launch and it's the only processes of 14th gen. Right now, you're only seeing processes that aren't using a new architecture branding the 14th gen name. Now, to some degree, I think Intel, you know, are in a bit of a in a bit of a bind because they do want to release these new processes. And they also want to release a new 14th gen. I think Intel personally should have like I subjectively I think they should have yeah named it like the 13900 or 13950k this is that weird little hole that we saw earlier we just exit that here it's just a fun exit uh we got five cadeaus left I mean yeah we only need 500 uh I'm just curious off the top of my head if there's any I can't think of any other lava in the rest of the level like I know we couldn't walk on this before but I don't think there's really anything else. Like, there's nothing, you know, that you see here that we couldn't have already done. So, I think we can bail. Uh, let's start killing some serial killers, shall we? Um, because we're only four away from the, uh... Oh, but you know what? I didn't explore <laughs> the Cathedral of Pain all the way through. Um, I know that it's just like, oh, there's more kiddos. I think I did this jump already. I did do that one. But, yeah, we've got all this lava we can explore. Before I even bother going to a serial killer lava. We're one hour in and I've just been like, oh, no, no, that's fine. We'll get there. Let me just double check. They didn't hide it back here. They did. Every time. Every time. Um, so, now, I, I'm not going to rip into them too hard, because it's just like, well, it's a factoid, and if you didn't know the factoid, then that's fine. Uh, but I do think it's like, you know, like, that illuminates a perspective in these reviews that I think not all the reviewers make note. Now, to an end user, it's a 14th gen Intel, and it does perform the same as, you know, existing 13th gen Intel, basically. To an end user... Yes, that is confusing. Intel probably shouldn't do that. Um, but it's also not like we've had regressive performance from, the, from Intel, but even from like other generations. Um, and it's also not the only time any you know card maker has re-released the same architecture on a different generation, and sometimes mix and matching generations or architectures within the same generation. It's happened, and it does happen. Like. I, I ripped into the 3600 XT, which I'll, I'll, I'll just say again, it's the same thing, but the naming was different. They, they put a T on the end of an existing product instead of a 4, instead of a 3. Like, it's it's a it's a non-trivial, it's a, it's a, it is a significant change in the sense of advertising 14th gen means more than advertising the same process of a T on the end, but I'd also then add you know, the Ryzen 3400G is a different architecture to the 3600, which is a different architecture to the the, the 3000G. Did anyone know that that one's uh, not even Zen Plus? That one's just regular Zen. Um, there's also, I think, uh, maybe the FX chips had the same kind of problem. They just re-released the same generation again with, uh, or the same architecture again with some process improvements and they're arguable at times. Um... I, uh, on the NVIDIA front, I'm pretty certain the GTX 700s were the same as the 600s. Um, and uh, who can forget RX 580? You know, the 500 series, which was just a refresh of the 400 series. Um, now, it's not to say that this is good. I would prefer if the processes, you know, or if really all these products had accurate names. Um, and especially like showing the architecture is probably like a key thing I think every processor should do. I would really love just more specs on the box. I think a person would really love... This is why, by the way, I got confused that this area was like... Because <laughs> you remember there was a... You know, we had another spinny bridge and I visited it earlier this this, uh, this stream. No, it was here. Oh my gosh, hard shadows. Ooh, it's so good. I love my hard shadows. This whole area is just bizarre how, again, 
again, really like most of this game, and I might, might as well actually talk about Shadow Man for a hot second. I still love that, like, most of these areas have, like, this strange, like, scale to them. And we'll probably see it with some of the later, like, serial killer levels. It's just like, what is, like, how? Like, what is the scale? What is going on? Like, why are these levels so big? I definitely, you could, you could easily say how is like, well, it's a 2021 re-release, like, of course they're gonna be larger. True, but... Let me dream, okay? Got it. Just the back rooms, you know? The, the, like, what's going on here? We just got a door that leads somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. I think the backlash is undeserved. All I would say is, yes, don't buy it. And it's sort of boring. It is a boring release. But it's certainly that. Is it a disappointment? Well, yeah, if you're expecting something bigger. Intel... I just want to say as well, like, if you're gonna say, like, oh, you know, like, Intel said there were gonna be gains... I'm gonna... S this, this, this is gonna sound so, like, fanboy of me, but legit. Where are the official slides that say the 14600K uh, was a significant gain over the 13600K? We can just drop down oh, here. Yeah. yeah, that's a secret. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Big heads! Everyone likes a good big head. Um... But, I, like, legit, like, I, I want to find a source as to where Intel said their processors were better than the last gen. And the only one they did that for was the 14700K, which has more e-cores, and therefore they can. That's it. Every other one, they just kind of said, well, it was better than the Ryzen competition, which is um, perhaps true. I just walked up the same ledge again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I wanted up here. Just, just get the, uh... Yeah, let's send off the big head. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's, like, very, very nitpicky. Very, like, oh, now, you know... Who looks at official slides? And it's like, yeah, well, you know... If... We can't make the argument that people will be confused by Intel's naming scheme, but then... Not bring up any other of Intel's marketing. I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like... You know, we're selectively picking a persona to get upset about, when really, let's see it in action. Let's see people actually, like, buy things and only see things by the product name and then go, oh, you know, I was disappointed that it wasn't the same architecture. For example, I bought a, uh, a laptop with a 3750H and I was a little disappointed that unlike the 3700, which was an 8-core Zen 2 CPU, I got a Zen Plus quad-core processor. Should I have done more research? Uh, a little bit. Set? Yeah, that's everything. Cool. Alright, we're killing some serial killers. <laughs> we're actually seeing some levels we've never been to before. Oh my goodness. Wandering up the stairs. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm... Uh, all I want to do is uh, partially stoke the fires a bit because... Uh, I don't know, I'm of the opinion that like every process is good. Even though I've been ranting a ton about how I think the Intel products are being uh, misrepresented. I'm, I'm not confident in saying they're being misrepresented, but I do think that the full picture is sort of not being addressed by reviewers, and that's fine. Uh, some reviewers did a good job. I liked Wendell's video, who was uh, took it as a good opportunity to mention, do you know how good motherboards have gotten in the past year? Which is a great thing to mention. Um, we can go in here, which I believe is... Yeah, actually no. <laughs> There's a better level. I know we can do this other level first. Was it this one? Nope. Not that one. I... <laughs> I know it was the last one I saw when, uh, it was the, uh, the one we went through. I mean, I know these levels by the faces that they've got in the bit. Yeah, this one, this one. Look at this room! 
It's like all spider webs and bones. But I thought this one would be fun. Because uh, it also gives me something which uh, I would really love to, to get. Make these streams a little easier. Let's pop the retractor on that fellow who is then just chilling, growing. And in we go, finally. Finally, who's been who's been wanting a new level? Welcome to Mordant Street Queens in New York. We've got 30 cadeaus and of course one Dark Soul to rule them all. I think you're gonna hear voice lines of the guy saying cry to mama. Dude, what's wrong with crying to the mum, you know? It is a bit dark, so I am gonna, you know, bring the, the uh... Well, that's not the flashlight, this is the flashlight. Ooh, of uh, hope you appreciate destroying boxes and, uh... Climbing through dark New York apartments, but, uh, that's, uh, that's a fair bit of this level. It's not gonna be dark forever, though, but it is gonna be dark for a bit. Make sure you explore around real close as well, because uh, on my first playthrough, I was not the biggest of explorers. I'd just keep wandering around. Sure is dark in here. Could do with some light. And he keeps mentioning how light would be better, as if it probably should have been a barrier there, just so like you, you know, if you can't see, then sure. Uh, is it really not in this area? I thought it was already. Because I know we're just back at the start. Okay. In that case, I think I've got a second, <laughs> a second option of where this thing is. We're looking for an item. It's not a vital item. It's just a very nice to have one. Oh my gosh! It's the Shining. You welcome. Enter freely and of your own will. Don't mess with me, little man. Little big man. Little big man. <laughs> Didn't your mama never tell you? It don't matter how big. My mama loves me. She never loved you. My mama kisses me. She loved My me when I got that kill streak in Call of Duty. Never ever kiss you. No, not never ever kiss you. Come to mama now, baby. I don't know what's with the camera movement. <laughs> Just casually disappears. Have a warp point so you can easily warp back to here. Avery Marks, that's the guy. Oh, look at that. Spoiled what we're getting. There's a flashlight in this level. So I believe that is where you need to go. But if we wander through this door, we should be able to find uh, some wonderful goodies, such as this cadeau that I cannot pick up. Dude, it's so dark. Like, like just... I forgot if the flashlight is there on the Nintendo 64 version. I think it was. It went pretty old school. Hi there. Jesus. Oh, he had a flashlight on him. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, the, uh... The greatest item, which actually makes first person kind of interesting as well. Also, uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh... <laughs> Look, we've just turned from Resident Evil 4 into Resident Evil 7 in a heartbeat. This might make uh, exploring kind of dynamic, I guess we'd say. There's going to be a lot of weird rooms around, but uh, fortunately I think this area is a lot easier to like digest. Um, the main way I would describe the layout is you've got three floors uh, and it keeps going up a bit. You can't exit through here, uh, but effectively besides that... Um, most of the routes are pretty linear. This will just lead up to the top, uh, or at least to the second floor, in some capacity. You're gonna see chairs and furniture being thrown all over the place. Like, if you if you love interior decorating, you know, turn around. These people do not flush. Oh my goodness, bro! I've never seen the toilet, by the way, that's had like such a high, like, action here. I assume it helps with the flushing. Because I've got a toilet where, like, the, the pipe's going sideways, and it just, it just does not flush well. Actually, sometimes it flushes too aggressively, and then it just... Hang on. There you go. 
Yeah. Oh, sometimes shit. it flashes too aggressive when it gets you. That's never fun. Also, demon dogs, because why not? I believe, and I have visited here uh, in life. Well, in this life side still, but before the eclipse. And uh, yeah, these are just regular dogs, and they don't attack you. You can kill the dogs, even before the eclipse, if you want it to be like a monster. Yeah. So uh, yeah, to, to TLDR all the review stuff, I think the 14900K and all those other processors have their place. You as a buyer should never consider the i9 and the i5 if they're more expensive. Just always go with 13th gen, it's about the same. Most of the value you gain is out of motherboards and faster RAM. I think you should just consider faster RAM. That'll help you a lot. Um, if you're the kind of person who... Oh my gosh. Also, he actually comes out of the woodworks and just starts harassing you with his nail gun. And then he just decides to disappear? But you know what? That's a much more ever-present threat than the, the last level, you know, the subway, where literally he wasn't around until the very end. It's like, you see him, and then he's gone, and you're like, where did he go? I'm pretty sure we looked around every Because this loops around. This is a... I know, right? One of those hug the, hug the left wall kind of types, and then it's like, oh no, they made it hard. I think if you actually hug the left wall, you would just... You will miss this, because you'll, you'll loop around. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we can check the next floor. What a spooky room. You gotta deal with the close camera and everything. Yeah, I love the lighting. Uh, anything else? Reviewers suck. I hate review- no, but reviewers are cool, but... I- and- and it'd be- oh, that's- that's a beheaded guy. What does this guy do to his victims, by the way? Does he- oh, we should probably <laughs> read the, uh, the journal a little bit. Actually, it's not in the journal, it's in the, uh, the file. What are we looking for? We're looking for... This guy. The home improvement killer. He leaves behind the skull of a baby canary. Ooh. Ah, he makes furniture. I'm not sure what's with the tape recordings, but someone's gonna be like, yeah, no, that was a real killer. Shit. And that was a that was a real trap door, they got me with it. Where are we going? Where's the food station to go? Man, we lost a bit of progress with that drop. Wow. Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I, I don't want to be too harsh on, like, reviewers and, and things like that, um, but yeah, I don't know, like, I would love realistic scenarios, um, and I think you'll only really, you know, gain that information if you just watch enough reviewers. Um, I hate the, the Reddit mindset of only the two that test a lot of, oh my gosh, this is terrible. This person attacks you, right? No. Well, guess what? I'm not that person. Isn't there another door I went through here? Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I was in this room. <laughs> Where did I go? I don't remember that being there last time. Where am I going? Well, yeah, I wandered here. I just didn't turn that way, I guess. Look at that, easy. Just jump. Yeah, it's fun thinking that every table is a um, flesh, I guess. But these are definitely tiles, right? So, uh, seeing birds ever. Oh my gosh, they're going. They're going, wacky birds. Uh... 
Oh, I love this, uh, this brief view into the New York skyline as well. Dude, yeah, it is very, very dark. <laughs> I just want to keep mentioning that. Um, yeah, well, I'll just check back as well because I'm pretty sure this continues on. And uh, that's fun, by the way. Very, very fun. Uh, I think this is just going to be like a box, but... Oh my gosh, the jump scare! Whoa! Actually, you know what I can... <laughs> you know what I can do? Start to rip and tear. This is not the place to fight him. I, I hate this scenario that they've got you in. Just, just let me go, bro. Let me go. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> well, that's a dead end. I got a cat O, but uh, at what cost? Almost more, all my health. It's not like there's that many enemies. So we walk out here. Up the boxes. Also, they give you plenty of ammo for that, uh, for the, uh, the attractor. There's that one, uh, one cat I was looking at before. Uh, this will lead you outside where you can navigate to the other side. But if you keep going around, you'll find maybe a goodie. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep checking around. We'll keep looking. Very sure there's something here. Uh, but yeah, I would like to uh, now also mention, just while we're on the subject of hardware, but this one's not as uh, long or detailed. Uh, here you go, this is. There we go. So this will at least light a lot of things. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to get uh, absolutely mauled. The music's acting up, the music's kicking in. That wall isn't even parallel, look. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, I was just trying to walk around. Shit. Uh, unfortunately, the warp is all the way back out here. But I believe turning on the power is actually what you want, because then you can activate the lift and go up to the third floor. But unfortunately, there are still some things I want to see on that second floor, and that guy ruined it for me. Freaking birthday boy looking fella. What is my name? She said. Uh, so the topic I wanted to, the other topic I just want to head on is, uh... Alan Wake 2 is a video game that's about to come out. I forgot the release date, so I'm not going to mention it. But I'm very certain it was in the October region. And if not, then it's in the early November region. Uh, it's a sequel to a game. It is by Remedy, I believe. Who uh, also made Control. And uh, Quantum Break is a game I'm seeing a lot of people mention. Um, because they both have very similar aggressive graphics. Uh, a, a bunch of their games seem to be weirdly demanding, um, but they're also used, I don't know, they, 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 can, they can be benches, they've got some visual flair to them. Um, it will be up to people whether they think that it's actually worth the graphics, um, you know, do the graphics look good for the performance that they run at, and I think that's always going to be a thing, and uh, until the game comes out, I can't predict a thing. But the bit that we wanted to, or that I wanted to mention, uh, we, like, I, I, I'm Legion, I am many, that's the one. Um, is someone gonna, like, catch me in, like, a cult if I, like, say that? Is it, like... I need to read more into the whole, uh, the whole Legion thing anyways. I know it's not, like, just a thing from this game. It definitely exists in more places. Um... Okay, that's the TV area, so I know I went in here. And this guy harassed me as I, like, walked out and kept going around here. I think I remember this being 
No, 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 not quite here. That is a bit of a weird ledge, though, but sure. Uh, this leads outside. We want to keep going around. That's right, I could have... I was nearly done, anyways. Okay. We got this. Maybe thinking what 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 invites me at the top? Of oh my gosh! He's not even here. You just wanted to play the audio sting. He's not. He's not even here, bro. Maybe he is here, and the music's just thinking that he's here. You can't see anything. This is like terrible for the stream. <laughs> you can't tell what's going on. Some of these jumps are real gnarly. Because you also want to like. Oh, hi there. Actually, instead, let's, let's get him with the, uh... Something a bit hotter. Did he just gotta leave? Nope. Well, he definitely disappears if I die. Yeah, he does! Unbelievable. But at the very least, I guess this is our, uh, kind of mid-level shortcut. Maybe you just gotta run away. Maybe that's the strat. The secret, the secret is, uh, don't fight your demons head on, apparently. Because you think you're hurting him, but, uh, not really. Now, I believe this direction, this is, yeah, I'm saving right here. Because this used to give me so much pain. You step on these, you fall down. And it gets, it's a harder jump when you fall down. It's, it's very hard to, like, see. Damn. It's very hard to see, but you gotta somehow get to the other side. Yeah, like that. If you can do oh, that, yeah. that's a secret. <laughs> also, there's a Kado, so... If you get in the Kado's, you're probably getting the secrets as well. We have comedy shoes! Heck yeah, combine it with the big heads for, uh... The, the greatest thing that you have ever seen, apparently. I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of the level, because it looks funny. Typically correct Shadow Man, you know. Uh, so Alan Wake 2 is the first video game to... I fell for that. Nice. Alan Wake 2 is the first video game I think I know of that is requiring uh, the use of mesh shaders. Mesh shaders are a new technology that were introduced, I think, uh, formally as part of the DirectX 12 Ultimate uh, interface spec. So if your graphics card is DirectX 12 compliant, these shoes are so funny. Um, if you're DirectX 12 compliant, uh, ultimate compliant, by the way, not just regular DirectX 12, which is kind of annoying, uh, then you do have, I didn't fall, I'm good. Um, then you'll have these features. These are on the RTX 2000 cards onwards and the RX 6000 cards onwards, RDNA 2 GPUs and onwards. Uh, that means if you're on an RX 5700 or a 1080 Ti, um, you are unfortunately caught out. You will not be able to even play Alan Wake 2. That thing is not going to launch. It's, it's asking for graphics instructions that don't exist. Now, in theory, uh, they can just write a vertex shader. They can do... Oh my gosh, look at that dude. Oh, he's got he's from the neck. That's a, that's a gnarly way to go. Bear skin rug. Totally bare skin. Not at all a real human being. Not at all. Listen, I could never be a serial killer because, like, the s this. imagine the smell, you know? Look at that, another accumulator, by the way. How convenient that we got more of them. I, I hope you enjoy seeing these, like, things painted on the walls everywhere as well. Just, you know, sweet dreams. Nearly at the end, don't worry, because you know what? I put a lava fall. It's not a lava fall, it's a blood fall this time. Uh, where did this go? Um, but yeah, now I have a bunch of mates reference. No, nope, no, nope, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with this. I'm just leaving.
If I run away enough, will it just disappear? I mean, the music's still going. I don't really want to go that far back. It did disappear! Maybe that is the trick. Blundo first, I figured it out. <laughs> just run away. I'm pretty sure there are the set points as well, like they're not like regular for the level. Yeah, we'll turn off the mount shoes. Uh, hi, I would love to be able to see. Okay, those are at 26, we're nearly at the end anyways. I, I hope you love just, like, <laughs> you know, this is a normal apartment. Maybe I think the thing with these serial killer levels is that they're so abstract in some bizarre capacity, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Probably more snake, uh, more labyrinthian than the real, the real stuff. No. That's right. That is an actual head, I think. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Chest of drawers all over the place. Oh, hideous. Get out of here. I'm just waiting for blood. I think at this point... Oh. <laughs> it's still very dark. Hi there. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Um, oops. Sorry. Broke the TV. So the nice thing is that the... Uh, the uh, little accumulator here, the violator. What a wonderful name. No! Look, get, get, get him out of here. Do I just bolt to like where to fight him? Have some zombies, why not? I mean, they're not even zombies, they're just like real people who haven't yet died. He's got no arms, he's got no soul, and he's certainly not in control. I commented last stream that there were boobs, and I, I decided that editing out the boobs every single time was a lot of work, so... Just embrace, we'll embrace the, uh, the ad revenue. Um, I have no ad revenue, <laughs> it doesn't come in anyways. Here we are, by the way. This is the actual end of the level. Uh, let's hit this guy with a machine gun, because why not? Uh, wow, that, that took off most of his health. Now we just do it the old school. There we go. Fairly easy. This thing is great. He's just circling around firing a nail gun at you. It's, it's, it's not that bad. It's just firing a nail gun. It's a Dark Soul. It's mine. Why not? Uh, we're at 92, so we should be on track to get a, uh, to get to level 5, level 5, level 9, very soon. As well as also, there's two more Kedos, and I'm hoping they're right here, and if not, eh. Because there's not, I mean, real talk, there's no enemies in this level, and the guy doesn't respawn. So, if you want to go back, get the last few Kedos, you know, be my guess. Uh, let's flashlight back up, just to see the remaining part of the level. Don't know if both Caddos are just chilling right here, but you never know. What a wonderful door. Listen, if I could get a door like this in my, my house, I totally would. Including the hell portal in the back. I think that'd be pretty pretty stylish. Uh, oh, two boxes. You ready? One Caddo, two Caddo. I'm a god. I'm bang on 200 as well. Cool. Let's get that max health. Not now. Let's, we have to. We have to. You know, do the do this part. Wow, they're really going at you, aren't they? But at least I'll probably be able to see a little more because I've got a massive blinking red light. I'm gonna flick the switch. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Now I have some mates who did buy an RX. Uh, 5700 XT, um, which, uh, how much did they buy it for? It would have been in the 600, 700 dollar range. Um, like, 
I liked the 5700 XT when it came out, uh, not as someone who owned it, but just as someone looking at the specs. Uh, my only big gripe that AMD sort of had was, uh, one, it did launch in a bit of a weird state. I think it had some weird drivers there. We got there. Um, my other thing was that they didn't have anything better in the stack. This was uh, a 2070 killer, and it was fine. It's just that, uh, you know, can we compete against the 2080? Unfortunately, they did really do that the next gen. RDNA 2, strong gen. Really like it. Um, but, yeah, the 5700 XT was a good GPU, but, um, yeah, it's like... I was expecting games to require ray tracing as a hard requirement, and that would have blocked off the same GPUs that we're talking about, the uh, RDNA 1 GPUs that don't have ray tracing support, and the GTX 1000s that don't have ray tracing support. Um, technically, I would have also counted the GTX 1600 cards, which are still okay. The 1650 is still in the mix, so use that as your litmus test of uh, how, how slow a game can run. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are also a little upset about uh, the game looking like it's just going to require DLSS because every single preset had DLSS on. And even the higher graphics setting presets had higher, like, or had lower resolution DLSS presets. So it's like, what's up with that? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, I think we can't. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get, get off that. We're taking out this guy before he messes up my hair, dude. There we go. As long as no one is shooting me, I should be prime grounds to get some goodies over here. Give me that fun industrial sound. Uh, but yeah. I don't. I don't know if Alan Wake 2 is not having the. Um, I'll never get over this music. I'll never get over it. <laughs> Someone's probably tuning in for the first time going, what, what on earth is going on back there? My answer is dentistry. Let's just annihilate it. I was going to say violate. That's, uh, that's what the weapon does. I don't know. It does really help against these guys, I'll tell you that. Yes, that is another one just chilling there. And the Dark Soul is mine, so. Look at the blood is just in midair. I don't know if you could have seen that for a minute, right? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, you were taking your time coming out. You know, modern times, it's okay to come out. Uh, oh. Hit by that last just stray bit. One more Dark Souls. Uh, given that I'm at 94, I think it's all but guaranteed we can get to the, uh, the ninth level. We'll see what we've got uh, time for. What we've got schedule for. Should be able to do at least two more Zero Color levels, though. Maybe. I definitely know one of them takes forever. Uh, where did that other pathway go? You know the one? Like, I assume that's behind the door that I was at when I started. But then I'm thinking, well, that was a... I guess I could just climb back on it. Because I'm, I'm probably wandering too far, so... It could mean another Dark Soul I didn't get. Uh... But yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was expecting games to like have hard ray tracing requirements that wouldn't be supported on non-ray tracing cards that just always have some ray tracing on and it's just like, yeah, I mean it does work, but it's just, well, for the cards where it's, uh, implement- oh, see, what a waste, what a waste, okay, good thing I checked, right? Uh, you could be like, yeah, for the cards it's implemented on, yeah, I'll run slowly, but I guess it runs, technically, um, Depends on how much ray tracing you use, but no, the mesh shaders aren't only supported on uh, those graphics cards, and it is a very large fundamental change to the rendering pipeline, so I can perfectly imagine why the cards can't work with it. 
the bit I guess I wish happened was uh, they had the non mesh shader version. You had uh, a kind of transitional period where you could implement both. That you could fit that in your time budget, but no games today are lean and mean. They're gonna they're gonna <laughs> implement the things they want, and who cares how many people they leave behind. Um, the the catches, I guess, the new consoles also can do it. So you know, I guess we're, we're, we're just out of luck. Report out. Okay, try to count which piston number we're up to. Uh, you can see that that's where we went in and I've stopped this one I believe this is number three then or four yeah this would be four so let's check the journal this would be four so three one two they could have picked a quicker one because two takes five goes to move well at least the first one's in the right place would be very annoying if they did two 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 Oh well. Oh, did I? I had two on the brain. I was like, let's put it at level two. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I don't have too much to say other than, like, yeah, I mean, if, uh, if you wanted to play Alan Wake 2 and the system requirements are scaring you off, um, just, yeah, don't play it. Because you probably can't. And I think new games are going to have to you know, experience that when the when they do drop off requirements. But I think we've had this discussion already. It's just this is one where, hey, this is a hard requirement. And it's very upsetting. It is a bit upsetting to just have a graphics cut come out that soon and then it's like, yeah, it's obsolete already. Like Yeah. I take a little bit in personal I was right satisfaction when uh People were telling me about the VRAM stuff being a problem because even the 2060 is supported here, um, and I would somewhat imagine the 1650 works. Is it good? Probably not. Uh, it actually might not work. It might be a VRAM thing, actually. <laughs> but uh, like, I don't know. There's a certain degree of like people were really focusing on the wrong things, um, and uh, that's really all I can say about that. You know, so yeah, we can. Yeah, let's let's get the health. So yeah, I shouldn't say Glee. Like, it's not it's not good to have people's graphics cards get unsupported like that. I wish graphics cards would be not supported in perpetuity, but definitely like people were buying 5700 XTs last year. People were people even to this day are still buying them used. Even some people buy 10 series cards used. I'm not a big fan of uh, them being, uh, you know, off limits basically. I like how I'm walking up to that going, oh look, a cat O! People are forgetting what's you know, off of them. These gifts I give to thee, O oh gracious lower. How fun that was oh very conveniently lower. exactly the number. Trade for life beyond. <sighs> the life force fills me with its savage fire. These gifts I give He's to really thee, liking oh these gifts, isn't he? Oh generous lower. Oh generous lower. A spiritual trade for life beyond. Ah, the life force surges like wildfire through my veins. There we go. Max health, which means uh, they're not recommending going here anymore. But I can get one more Dark Soul. Maybe we should just do it. We're at it. You know exactly where it is. I know exactly where it is. It's uh, not. I need to walk to the top. Whoops. <laughs> We're not walking back out of here. Uh, but it's just in this temple. I'm very curious if, like, the other five Caddos, even though, realistically, you know, I'm like, who cares if I don't get any more Caddos. So I'm like, what is... You can climb up here? Ah. I don't think you should really be up here, but I just thought, just thought that was a bit interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you remember, it was... Get these. Were, were these on my radar? Nope. I thought I remember there being two pathways. Like, we want to go into that room. And, uh... I guess it's around the back. Right. Put me up. Let me go. Let's do... Okay, go around the long way. Making me 
more. <laughs> Stepping on spikes. They ruined my shoes. So if we walk through here, we should be able to get into the room where you gotta swim. There we go. Should find some lovely caddos on the ground. Very nice, very, very nice. As well as also well, Dark Souls here, so. Oh, someone's calling my name back there. They're really liking me. The power of the Dark Souls. I we can embrace the power of the Dark Souls, eh? I like how I said, oh, I can do, like, two more serial kill levels, and then I'm like... Maybe we should do the, uh... This magical door. Uh, there's three more caddos somewhere, but... You know how this do be. Uh, we can, indeed... Open the coffin gate and... Oh, we'll come back here later. Uh, we need to enter the fogger meters. We'll level 9. Let's get the item and then we can go anywhere. There's actually no restriction to where we can go. Uh, which means we'll probably just recommend all the remaining Dark Souls in the game. And we do. I mean, the goal is... You know, we're getting all the Dark Souls. We're getting there. So... Yeah. Other than that, I played a couple of games this past week. I played uh, more Guitar Hero 3. Uh, but I think... Before the last stream, I'd already done all the expert stuff, so... Um, I went back and we're just doing hard, and I realized that the charts on hard are sort of what most later game charts were on expert. Things like uh, one by Metallica, it actually bears a lot of resemblance. Yeah, like the, um... Hey, how you want to stab it? No, oh, I guess we press Y, I don't know. <laughs> Starts getting more painful. All right, does this just immediately go towards a? Uh, it does. I have a hunch where one of the Dark Souls was. The only one. All right, witness. We didn't get a soliloquy in the last level, did we? Do not walk softly into the jaws of the dragon. Do not accept the loathsome embrace of the beast at the heart of the horror. But instead, discover that fearsome face, teeth bared, eyes a spark with ice cold hate, sinews braced for the fall. And yet, I feel the beast does not await me at the maze's dark core. I am on the edge of knowing, and yet I am afraid that the knowledge will cause me to walk a willing sacrifice into the jaws of the dragon. I was very disappointed that there was not an actual dragon in this game. They're, they're tempting you, they're going, oh, I'm a dragon. So welcome to the Fogometers, aka the very, very last level. That's right, they replaced this back button with a, <laughs> with a level. Um, but yeah, we have 33 Caddos, only 3 Dark Souls, there's not actually that many. But, uh, we're definitely, we're looking for an item. And, uh, sort of, again, and uh, Caddos, Caddos. They're somewhere, they're somewhere. We don't need them, we've got full health. That'd be good to even bring, oh, I can't bring the flashlight, it's a real item. So, I guess we're gonna have to bring my, uh, my handy dandy torture meter. Uh, yeah, no, I, yeah, Guitar Hero 3 is still doing me alright, but I've definitely noticed my hand gets very, very achy after, or my wrist, sorry, it gets very, very achy, so, um, I think I'm past my prime on that one. Probably shortened my wrist lifespan by a while. Um, but I can still hop back into it and do some good stuff every so often. That's all good, so. That's how I know I'm getting old. Tyro is like my thing, and now it's like, yeah, no. I've done. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still getting better somehow, uh, somehow. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a lot of work. So, um, that being said, I would love to develop a retro achievement set for the Tyro World Tour on the PS2. So, uh, there's no hash for that one, but I'll look into it. I would really love to just like. Just do it. Uh, how do I explain this map? It's like a ring? Oh, imagine... How do I... Uh, imagine, like, pictures of the, the large intestine. Where it's like it exits out the bottom. That's where you start. 
you're going backwards with the intestine. Uh, and then it kind of wraps around, and then you got this like small intestine that kind of like goes all over the place, moves back over. Um, somewhere on the inside. Yeah, imagine that. If you don't know what a large intestine looks like, you should have watched me play Magic School Bus enters the human body. I should really play another one of those. Hi. Hi, you good? There we go. Lots of enemies all over the place, but I don't think they're the harshest enemies we've seen, even though it is the last of the levels. It's still got screaming though, so... Just, just like all the good levels in this game. Ooh, we've got two shadows. Yeah, it looks like I'm going past lots of, you know, cool corridors, but effectively just... Just no, they're just large buildings, and one of those, which was the earliest one that looked like I could climb up, yeah, that's how you enter. All of this is just the chucking stuff along the ground. Actually, no, you can enter up here as well. There's two entry points. There's two halves, I guess, to the hole. Look at the Oh. Look at this as I jump right past it. Um, but yeah, the other game I played was uh, Choro... QHG2, otherwise known as Road Trip, otherwise known as Road Trip Adventure on the PS2. This game is a cult status game. If people know about it, think back on it, that game is amazing. I never played it as a kid, but I played it now, and I can guarantee this game is very, very neat. Uh, I played the other Choro Q games, and knowing Choro Q3 on, on the PS1, uh, which by the way, if you like Road Trip Adventure, See if you can find a copy of Charo Q3 on the PS1. Mm, Charo Q2 is pretty good too. The first one's fine, but all the levels are in the second game, so. And, uh, you can deal without that structure. You don't, you don't need the structure of the first Charo Q. But you can't play it if you want, it's, it's a fair game. Uh, but this PS2 game is not by the same devs, uh, but it is sort of, I think it is in the same vein. It's got the same structure in the sense that, uh, you're a, you're a car, you need to go out, you need to win races, earn money, buy upgrades, uh, actually win the races instead of coming sort of near the top. Um, but uh, unlike the other ones, uh, you get an open world that you can actually truly explore around in. Uh, all the races are sort of just, when you're in a town, there's a, a Q's factory, this guy called Q and he's got a factory. Find that, you can walk to that town. Uh, and uh, in Q's factory, you can enter the races that are available at that factory point. So every town's got its own races uh, going on, which is pretty cool. Uh, every town also has its own shops, uh, its own people. There's lots of people to talk to and lots of random dialogue that you'll experience just casually. Uh, some of it is very, very unhinged. Uh, there is a side plot about a person getting kidnapped. And uh, spoilers, they were. <laughs> It's just like, it just happens, you know? Uh, some people will also ask to be in your party, and uh, you can have two other people in your party for a max, you know, for you and, yeah, so your three people. And uh, if they do well, they also earn you money. All the money that all you earn just goes together. They don't even take a cut. They're just, they're just doing it for the heck of it, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so that kind of encourages you to buy parts for more than just yourself. Uh, I did find the parts were a, a little pricey, the engine was a bit pricey. Um, I know I gotta jump on one of these like pipes at some point, and I don't believe it's the ones that we've been looking at just yet. I need to figure out what a fogometer is, by the way. Oh. It's a very bizarre room to enter up in. Um, yeah, the open world is actually pretty cool as well because a lot of, like, a, a good number of Chara Q3s. I know there's another Chara Q, like, HG game that I've not played in the middle. Um, but a lot of Chara Q3s game, uh, like, all extra things and mini games were found on that uh, world map. And in this one, the world map is very, very big. You'll find it's very expansive. And it, might, it takes only a couple of minutes to really drive around to everywhere you need to go. But. You don't know where anything is. You get a little mini-map radar that's just kind of showing the buildings close to you, but you really got no clue really where you're going, which makes it a road trip adventure, if you will. 
take it like an actual road trip. You drive around, discover all these places, um, and uh, at the end of the day, you'll you know you'll find probably a bunch of the mini games. You'll find the cues. Then open up. Is he out? He's out. He's free. How does he like bullets? The answer is not really. Watch out, homing purple things. Okay, phew. Yes. Dark Soul is mine. Uh, so yeah, in tech, in theory, once you're at this level, by the way, uh, you will, you will find the last retractor somewhere, and there is no need to get any more Dark Souls. But it is a reward for 120. So. There's two rewards actually. The remaster added another one. Uh, so. Do keep that in mind. Uh, I think this is a dead end. I think this actually just doesn't go anywhere. I love the music still. It's creepy in a good way. Yeah, if there's one take home I from this game, I would like to just say the music is spectacular. And every time I'm going to keep mentioning that. Who's the composer? I, I, I didn't... I, I need to know his name so I can just mention it by name. Yeah, so I'm up here. Guess we're at the end, right? This looks like it keeps going on. But this was just uh, the rope. That was just to get up here, so... We converge in the middle then. Uh... But yeah, now the race is in Choro Q HG2, otherwise known as... Road Trip, otherwise known as Road Trip Adventure. I know, right? Just give it a, give it an easy name. Um, we're gonna call it Road Trip just for funsies. Uh, also, they don't even hide the Japanese name. They call it. They just keep calling it Choro Q in game so many times. There's a lot of Japanese as well. There's actually there's a city called Fuji City, and it's, it's just like yeah, every, all the signs are in Japanese. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Actually, I think it is this pipe in particular. There you go. Uh, Giant Stetson. There you go. This is pizzazz. This is pizzazz. <laughs> Every game needs to have just this. That's great. Um... So yeah, so unlike other, unlike other Troll Q, um, but yeah, exploring around the overworld is very good fun. It's, it's, it gives you that sense of scale and just like wonder. Even if the overworld is the overworld, there's not really much to it other than talking to people and finding stuff. Um, but there are a couple. There's actually like 20 or so mini games. There's a lot of mini games that you'll really find. Uh, and I was thinking, oh, they'd be like kind of cheap, but it's like they range from curling to golf to soccer with three cars, three on three, so Rocket League, you know, the days are numbered, um, uh, to, uh, just like a, a rally across the whole map to, um, some weird, like, obstacle courses and a little bit of a puzzle mode, um, there's lots of these, like, mini games all over the place, and that's what makes the game more of a treat compared to really any other game uh, that I've played so far in the franchise is that these bonus games are very, very, you know, treated equally. Who's in my hell? Get it back eventually. It's a bit of a confusing map, isn't it, as well? We'll return to some linearity eventually. There we go, get the key. Open the door, get on the floor. And we're turning a fan, because why not? This is uh, unfortunately one of the... Yeah, you actually have to know where the fans drop to. Kinds of fans. You know? It's kind of weird, it's like you climb up here. Very Rayman 2 looking wood, you know? Um, yeah, there's lots of little, you know, cars to collect, um, I guess my only, yeah, my only real gripe is, uh, money's still a bit annoying. Also, you get given the, uh, the, the demon parts basically when you're done with everything, like, uh, 
In the other games it was like, yep, you get your money and eventually you'll buy them. But in this game, eh, someone gives it to you for doing everything in the game. So, no need to have them, but it's a cool bonus. I think there's another this exit. Let me just loop around. Oh, there's no other exits. It's just, it's just here. Everyone likes spinning around on the platform, don't they? I do. No, I don't. I hate it. <laughs> Regret. Turn back the clock. I don't want it. Uh, I also beat Chrono Trigger. Um, I had beaten... I, I thought I had played Chrono Trigger before because I was very familiar with fighting Lavos at the end. Um, but I must have not done it. I must have not beaten uh, Lavos because I didn't remember the post, like the the, the real boss uh, or the whole dungeon leading up to it, which is not required. It's technically not required, but you do need it for the new game plus. You gotta beat the queen. Can I hear him? That was the music kicking in. Oh, I just realized they're using they're using the violator. Have they always been using that? I swear they're shooting faster, but I don't know, it could just be me, my memory, failing me again. Oh, I guess we got. I was like, how many, how many of these uh, shadows are we getting? Oh, I'm gonna cop it. Oh, I copped it. Damn. Damn. Oh, they got the chainsaw on the music. Very nice, very, very tasteful. Um, so, yeah, so I can give like a, an overview, I guess, of, uh, of really everything I thought about Chrono Trigger. So, uh, this is a uh, highly beloved JRPG. It's been re-released on the DS, and I believe it had a PlayStation 1 version as well. Um, and I know it's on Steam, so I know this that. Um, it's a highly beloved SNES RPG, and it's at the very end of the SNES era, so it's got a lot of the more, you know, I guess I'd say modern sensibilities, things that make a lot of sense. The saving is very generous, there was always a save before a boss, except at the end of the game where they decided to throw nine bosses back to back. Um, just, just thought you'd like to know, we just did that for funsies. Uh, but no, they're, they're pretty generous there. Um, nothing really caught me off guard too much other than some bosses having some, like, combinations of abilities that were very annoying. I particularly didn't like the reacting to attacks kind of method, because uh, some of the later game bosses are just like, you'll never know until you suffer defeat because you decided to attack, you know, a boss, and they had two abilities, which was drop your health to one and immediately attack you. That, there are bosses that do that, it's very annoying. I, it's, it's just, it's painful. If I had saved just before the boss, I wouldn't mind so much, but that was, that was one of the, I had to fight several boss phases leading up to that. Um, other things, like, I guess, like, uh, you know, you sort of have to still try and error with, like, various, uh, elemental attacks, I guess, you know, it's a thing, but, uh, lots of the, well, most of the encounters are not, in fact, actually, all the encounters are not random. They all happen at a very particular point on the field. Um, I'm just going to not comment on that jump, by the way. That, just did... that one is a little more okay. It's the hat. It's throwing me off. Sorry, everyone. Let me show that nice, shiny, bald head again. Um, but yeah, no, the random bat the, the battles are not random. They do happen at set points on the map. And uh, it's just, yeah, if you leave the place and come back, that's how the battle respawns. That's how you could choose to grind for experience, but I never really did. I did go back and look for more things and places, so I probably fought some more enemies than uh, I didn't necessarily have to. But I did finish the game at basically level 46. Um, from what I'm, you know, read, it's like, yeah, 45, it's like kind of the minimum. Let's see, I know there's multiple exits in this room, so... It's going to throw all of this off. Like, I look at that, and I'm like, what's going on in there? Set him on fire. Set him on fire. Um, 
But yeah, I think the part that really, really works with Chrono Trigger is that uh, it was only a 15-hour game in the end, and uh, you know, that might, in some other cases, that might mean like, oh, you know, the game's just short and it ends before it really gets hard. But I'd say it ramps up into pretty quite normally, and instead, how it kind of achieves that short runtime is by keeping the story brief but dense. Is the key word I'd say. You don't need to know a crazy ton about the world, you just need to know a lot about the characters you're with. Who are they? What do they do? What are they motivated by? And, uh, and then just, you know, have some, have some connection to the whole world, like, why is someone here? You can describe more about a character by having them just have a- oh, hi, hi, right in the, right in the camera mugging there. Uh, the last retractor! Congrats, we are there. Come on. Oh, I just realized I've got no, no teeth. That's going to make uh, this fight a bit interesting. Hi, right, where, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Hi. Come on. Oh, there goes one. That's the thing, is that when you can charge this thing up almost all the way, it's just like, yep. They're not much of a threat anymore, so that's good. Uh, these guys, unfortunately, are a threat. Unbelievable! I'm really catching myself out here, aren't I? That's why this game starts to get a bit annoying if you're trying to go for like the um, the deathless achievement. Like, yeah, you can save scum, but like, oh my gosh, jeez! You gotta really just get them. Although, I guess it saves you from having to backtrack like this. The game doesn't know to not be using this music. Um, yeah, the graphics are, are good fun. It's got that wonderful SNES style. Lots of great jams, lots of great sound effects. Uh, I don't think you could really knock on anything that's in Chrono Trigger. Because um, also on top of that, the brief length, oh, guess what? game all about time travel has multiple endings depending on how you engage with the final boss you have the ability to go fight the final boss at pretty much any point in the game and depending on what you know and what you resolve that does set decently different endings um so yeah so i'll be giving it a replay and i'll definitely be exploring um the new game plus aspects of it because uh it's got new game plus how early of a game had New Game Plus? Uh, this is not the same door I went through, by the way. Up here. It's just because I'm up here already. Unless that is the exact same door I went through. I don't remember there being another enemy, though. Yeah, okay, sure. Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh... But, yeah, no, yes, no, that's not the same door. Again, I would love for, like, I mean, I know it's probably a little iffy because it's a, a 3D game, but I would love to just, like, fly through these levels and really, like, get, like, a, a gist of how they're laid out in 3D space. Because they're all such mazes. They're all, like, just very challenging to navigate. This door, by the way, this door, I swear, like, the first time I saw this, because this was sort of here, like, actually, this was here when I played the game for the first time, but it's not here in the, uh, in the original version. There's a 10 door right here. It's, it's on this map, by the way. There's a 10 door in there, which leads to mystery. And, uh, as you guess, a 10 door can only be opened with every Dark Soul. And it's just here? So, uh, we'll have to reveal this mystery uh, at, the, uh, at the end of next stream, because I can guarantee we're not going to be prepped for it just yet. Um, I think we only have time for one more serial killer level, but then again, it's like, well, the only other things we've got to do is... Uh, can you even get up there? Or is that guy just... he's just chilling, I don't think he can really do anything. Um, we're nearly done with this level, though, and then 
Yeah, we could do a serial killer level. And then, what is that? Two more serial killer levels and the backtrack. How many locations do we still have Dark Souls? I guess is the main one. We've got this place, uh, Temple of Prophecy, which we haven't gotten the item yet. We need to find the Calabash. Actually, the Calabash is in there, isn't it? Ah, so we're just getting Dark Souls in there then. Okay. Uh, back to the playrooms and somehow figure out where these Dark Souls are in here. But other than that, we've got most of the other goodies. So what is that? One... That's one level. Two, three, four, I guess. Five, six, seven. A bit of backtracking all over the place, but I'm just going to prioritize Dark Souls, I guess. And that wonderful ceiling. Uh, but yeah, no, I definitely recommend, I'd recommend Tro QHG2, otherwise known as Road Trip, otherwise known as Road Trip Adventure. I'd very recommend Chrono Trigger. Um, it's definitely like, you know, it's good to uh, appreciate JRPGs before diving into it, but it's a very good fun game. Um, and, uh, Guitar Hero 3, well, I'd recommend, but, uh, get a guitar. And, uh, don't break your wrist. I actually, I would really like to, um learn i mean I've, I've got an actual guitar um i struggle with chords i'm like it sounds like i can make kind of just you know dissonant sounding chords in my in my you know in my playing but uh, i'm still yet to really wrap my head around proper guitar technique so it's not making as much uh progress as i really love it to but uh but, uh, you know, I just need a, it, it's like, what's the, what's the thing? It's like riding a bike, you're gonna get hurt? I don't know if that's the, the phrase I'm saying. So that's where I came in from, and I need to drop down here, and then somehow go in there. Because, there's no other exit here, it's just, it just so happens there's two exits. But I'm pretty certain there's a Dark Soul down there, and that's, like, what we're getting lost on. Or it's in here. guy falling over. I love this, like, just absolute death trap right here. I think in theory you might be able to jump through as well, but... Da -da -da -da, where's my key? Key. There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we went in that room and it went over back to here, which was the actual shrine temple itself, where there were 50 million enemies chilling in that room. I think we can get more of them like this because I really don't want to die. I really don't want to walk back. I don't want to. Oh, get him. Yeah, there you go. I'm pretty sure there's one last guy in that room as well. He wandered back in. Ah, well, it's two Caddo's. Five more in this level. Will I find them? Maybe they might be down here. Nope, not down here. Oh well. So I am curious. Uh, I, I'm hoping there's no more big, you know, hardware discussions and future days and said I can start talking about how uh, Mario Wonder and Marvel Spider-Man 2 is it Marvel or is it Sony's Insomniac Spider-Man 2 I don't know what they're calling it Spider-Man 2 um, they both came out last week and they're both being very well received so good on them you can hear the Dark Soul going there it is the Dark Soul is mine. And that's all the Dark Souls in this level. Uh, taken, I've taken a stab at the Caddos. There's four left. Uh, there's one last place I looked, but otherwise it's like, yeah, no, we kind of looked at most of the level, and they're probably lying around there somewhere, but... Yeah, I realize I've probably spent so much time dedicated to finding the, you know, the Caddos the first time. But, uh, yeah, once you hit, like, 500, it's like, yeah, yeah, I've got a lot of them already. 
is it really a hundred percent, you know, playthrough? Well, not really, but... Is anyone gonna dock Mox for not finding the Caddos? No. Did I really just not walk in here? Or is this never open? Well, there's another one. And there's another one. There's two left. Dude, what if they're just both upstairs? Oh my god. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, the video is still. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do a serial killer level. Uh, to the... Cathedral of Pain. Come on, Come on, people. Let's go to the center door. Uh, I am specifically, by the way, choosing the levels that are in the other versions. I I guess I'm, uh, I'm leaving the actual two new levels uh, for last. Um, so I believe this one is uh, another level. Well, the third of the levels that was in the, uh, the um, original versions of the game. And uh, interestingly, this is the one... This actually... Was it this one? Yeah, yeah, it was this one. This is the level that had three of the bosses. Um, they just decided to put them all here for some reason. Might be like your, your hymn music. Time to kill another killer. Again, because he's technically dead in some way. Although this is just a regular lad who was caught a little off guard. <laughs> so welcome to um, Texas, Texas. Uh, well, it's Texas. What can I say? I don't know how you managed to get away with this in a jail, but uh, there's a. Uh, this is a very interesting level. One, because there's a uh, dead lack of head, police officers all around. You're hearing wonderful riot sounds. Oh, I'm gonna need that flashlight, aren't I? This level is certainly a maze. Also, the headless cops come back at you. I thought you'd love a new enemy type, technically. They don't do much, they swing. Swings, just a swing. Uh, also, you're gonna hear this the guy in the music say repeatedly, I am the lizard man. Uh, the end is sooner than you think. You will just constantly hear that. Oh, what's going on in there, by the way? Okay, this is just a... I think it's a pretty linear level, though. But it does have some weird backtracking. Like, it's got actual keys. And yeah, you gotta watch out for all these guys coming back. Die, evidence box. Oh, uh, these guys also have guns. So uh, keep a... Keep a watch out. Hi. Yes. You wanna cop it? There you go. Don't lose while you're ahead. See, that was funny. That was very, very funny. I like you just wander in here and it's just like this anyways. Actually, I don't know if they come to life it's not a the eclipse. Probably not. I don't think they would. Wacky stuff happens in the eclipse, don't it? Fun symbols everywhere, flickering lights, everyone's favorite. Oh, this! Uh, might as well just save here, because it's... Oh, nah. I was like, was the walk that bad? Um, yeah, a, hel a helicopter. Yeah, uh, suddenly I'm now shooting down a helicopter, and also I need to take cover. It's... I'm very certain this was in the original game. I love the eclipse going on in the background. Why, yes, the shadow gun does work on helicopters. Do you think it wouldn't? You think it wouldn't? <laughs> uh, what a what an insane thing that just happens, by the way. I actually I don't think the helicopter. Mm. 
Uh, someone's gonna correct me of like whether the helicopter was there in the original versions or not. I, I definitely know this level is, but maybe that was just a regular dude. Maybe the regular dude crashed out of the helicopter. Definitely. I'm very curious. Oh, there he's got his jams. That is also the boss of the level as well. Uh, saying the things? I don't know, it's part of the song. But unfortunately, I don't think we'll meet him until near the end again. And like all good serial killer levels, we're really just looking for... Actually, does, does it show up here? Yeah, find the key card. It's like they really, they're really letting you know what you're looking for along the lines. The Lizard King. Sorry, not the Lizard Man. The Lizard King. Actually, bonus points. What did he do? It's uh, this guy. He's from Switzerland. And then he went on the FBI's most wanted list. And then he's uh, on death row, chilling in a chair. There you go. The Lizard King. And then I guess he raised the siege? Sure. Cool guy. Oh, maybe not cool guy. The end was sooner than I thought. Let's just say that. I did this level last. I did this level last when I first played the game, so the end actually was sooner than I thought. Because because it's like, yeah, like, uh, each one of these killer levels, you, you know, you turn off the piston, and once you've turned off all of them, you can just immediately walk to the end of the game. So, it actually was pretty soon. Got this hole right here. Is this really how prisons are laid out? Like, I've never actually been to a prison myself. I've watched, like, I was like, I've watched tour video. Like, that seems like a very weird comment. Like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, there's movies that are shot in like, you know, unused prisons. Something uh, around here. By the way, yes. The the key card, and we literally hold in the whole hand with it. Give it a swipe. Some fun pictures. What are we looking at here? Is that like a car exhaust or is that a gun or is it an ink spot? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's backwards! I believe it says if you can read this, uh, hi, if not, uh, oh, sorry, if you cannot read this, hi, uh, something else. It's in cursive. That's fun. Thank you, thank you, high resolution textures for that one. Oh, no, 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 we're done. I like how this wheel needed to get a little narrower just, just for this moment. We got the key card and we flicked the thing, so that's gotta mean good things, right? King, 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 king. Doppler effects are always, you know, hit or miss with me. Uh, I, oh yeah, I know you can go up here. Might as well check up here. No, 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 don't wake up. You know, I've never been a big fan of headless shotgunners coming at me. Like, it sort of crossed the mind a couple of times, and I've just never, it's never been my fancy, you know? It's like most of these, in fact, everyone's headless. Why, yes, that was just a regular shotgun blast. How many caddos are at? Four. Cool. They seem to balance them out, the caddos. There's not like. They haven't been like throwing them in like densely. Yeah. Uh, but no, yeah, I would love to like. Maybe not visit a like real prison. That would be the most ironic thing in the world. Clip this one. If anyone is saying, if anyone is like, is like, 
oh, you know, here, here, here am I saying, oh, you know, like, how cool would it be to, like, visit a prison? Actually, it might be very depressing. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know how I'll feel, actually. It's suddenly a thing I haven't, a place I haven't been to before, and then someone's gonna be like, uh, you know, caught for the worst crimes known against humanity. So the worst crime I've probably done is, uh, playing 20 year old Nintendo games that I already own on other platforms. They're gonna get me, they're gonna get me Nintendo. This is, this is gonna be the, like, nothing I'm saying right now will age well in any way. I can guarantee that. Uh, that is the same clipboard. Also, look at that keyboard! That's right! Z is for some odd reason instead of Y. They've swapped Z and Y. Who does that? Who does that? Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? The nice thing about a level like this, and arguably a lot of the levels in this game, is, uh... It's not much platform- actually, all the platforming disappeared once you could swim through lava, didn't it? It is a very big prison. But at least there's a lot of, like, very distinct, like, areas and rooms. Like, we have that kind of, like, outdoor area. Got kind of a gym. Flickering light. There's just barrels everywhere, and like, enemies. I don't think I'm gonna have to bang the drum. Ugh. Get out of here. I keep thinking these are like pool tables. There's just pool tables everywhere. I'm going for three. <laughs> You probably could, given that jump. Shadow Man should just, you know, keep balling. Now... Other than that, though, uh... Do I talk about the weather? No. I, t I don't talk about the weather. Um... But I am trying to think, like, you know... We're getting dangerously close to the end of the year. Um... Like, real dangerously close. I'm in that point where it's like, I'm starting to consider Christmas presents for people. Uh, not because it's Christmas soon. Uh, but because, uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, I guess Thanksgiving is much later. Because when is it? Like, the, the third... Is it the third weekend of November or something like that? Um, there's a, there's a particular point of November. Later November. For Thanksgiving. Uh, downstream, this... Why do we celebrate Thanksgiving in not Australia? Oh, sorry, not America? Uh, that was a good question. Um, but certainly, uh, we, uh, we seem to get Black Friday, and if we don't get Black Friday, it's Cyber Monday, and it's usually not Monday anymore. It's like a whole week. So get your wallets prepped for that uh, inevitable, you know, uh, Thanksgiving, oh sorry, the inevitable looking for Christmas presents kind of phase. Uh, or don't participate in consumerism. DIY your gift. People like intimate gifts rather than monetary goods. Unfortunately, my intimate gifts are monetary goods. I appreciate handmade presents, but no one is going to make, like, Super Mario Wonder. That, that's a very, like, jaded thing. I used to always be real bad at that. I'd always used to, like, just view, like, a monetary value of, like, what I got and be like, yeah, cool. So whenever it was, like, something, like, really worthwhile, it was, like, you know, great. Um, I did... I did appreciate the things that I cared about more or lasted longer. I know I request... Request, it seems like a very bad... Like, I don't know, it seems very ungrateful to say, like, I, I demanded this game. My parents buy me the brand new Nintendo. Um, but like, I don't know, like, yeah, like there are some games I asked for and it's just like, yeah, they are not like games I would ever recommend. Um, or at least not for the price they were. Like I remember getting Sonic Generations on the 3DS 
This would have actually been in 2011, and I just finished that thing in a single day. And I'm like, wow, and I've never played it since. I played that game for just a handful of hours, and I thought it was very mid. I could just move around. I'm gonna make sure I keep these guys down, just so I you know, know the areas I've been to. Ah, just, just stop. Stop, you can, you can sit down. Guy behind me? Yeah, he was. Just chilling back there. Uh, all to get another key, by the way. This was the uh, well, another key card, I guess. Or to use a key card. Sorry, the same key card on multiple switches. Can't keep a good man down. They're just chilling. They're vibing. Um. Yeah, I don't know, like, I always feel a bit bad. Also, uh, hi, again. I love the lighting on the uh, propeller when the... You're never gonna see it right now. I'm just saying, that, that has to be, like, a real person operating the, uh, the helicopter. Like, am I just killing a real guy, or is that a headless guy operating the helicopter? Not screaming ah at me, so. How accurate of headless people are they? I don't think these guys represent headless people at all. They're just fakers. They're just tucked in. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I used to always feel a bit bad about, like, um, sort of, like, I openly consumerist angle of Christmas presents even though like you know you watch those TV shows and they're like ah oh, but Christmas is all about family and I'm like man you know like I saw enough <laughs> family so that was very very jaded now it's like oh, I wish uh, I wish I had more time with my family check this out by the way a gun just an actual MP909 that is a wonderful segue to come out of like Christmas and family it uses its own ammo, by the way. Does this permanently kill people? Maybe. Or I might have just re-killed them. Again. But I just love how, like, Liveside has its own weapons like this. I don't believe you can use them outside of, li of Liveside as well. But you can use it in the other serial kill levels. We've still got two more after this. It's just intriguing that like you even get this kind of stuff. This level will be a pain once you've opened every single door. Oh boy, you can tell where this is going. Give it a hand. Dude, how cool is Shadow Man as well? He uses one hand to operate this thing. Is it silence as well? It is. No, that's just a long barrel. No one woke up. Bring a lot of mowers. Kiddos. The kiddos go to the lowers. Oh my gosh, that's actually a pool table. I knew it. Is it a pinball table? Do they have pinball in, in prison? Dude, maybe I should go to prison. Oh. There sure is some crazy shit going down here. That's some, that's some real, uh, oh, what's the movie? What's the movie? What's the movie where the guy's head explodes? Oh! Wasn't Signals, was it? No. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. You know the one. But like, when I was young, it's like, there'd be like, ten gifts on the internet. Actually, no, there were, there were, there were tons of gifts. But like, you'd encode basically like the coolest things that you'd ever like have seen into a gif and then you put like every single gif on your website and everyone scanners that's the one everyone would um use that one gif of the guy's head exploding from scanners everyone and me as an impressionable five-year-old on the internet uh was a little bit shocked but uh don't worry i'm a mess individual who is talking about consumerism and christmas presents 
I have a feeling that there's another door. Or it was... Actually, maybe that was the door there. Yeah, probably was it. You stay down. Down. Just something from a very different game in each of these levels. Because, like, legit, the other two serial killer levels, I mean, the first one I was shooting dogs, the second one I was just shooting the same guy again and again. This one now, it's like, bro, headless prison break or prison enter, I guess. A very bizarre game. Who made this game again? They wrote this down, they said, yeah, headless prison break. And we accepted it. We just said, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oops. Keep seeing the camera clip out of the top. But I believe this is the, uh, we've been through this whole way. And we went out that door. Oh, do we do, we gotta do a long trek around the hallway, don't we? Man, that's a bit of a trek. And these people can't aim. I think at some point we can't identify them as stop being people. That's a dismal thing to say. This whole game is filled with wonderful dismal things that I can say with no context, so I really hope that, you know, people will use this to the fullest extent. You could, you could indeed train AI on my voice and just do the same thing, but it's really cool if you can somehow, like, pull sentences I say and with, you know, some fun sentence mixing, because I have a very, mon you know, monotone voice when I speak, I don't know. Um, it's probably not the most monotone voice you've ever heard. Might be annoying. These are some broken pool tables as well, and it just drops me in the same room, so. Alright, in that case, I'll keep walking down this hallway. Expecting there to be something. But is there? No. There's not. So it must be the other way then. It probably is the other way, given, given some guys shooting the wall. Oh, yeah, 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 there was another door up here. Not that one. Uh, it does sort of seem like I'm wandering really far back here. I'm definitely hearing, you know, business over there. So, and there's enemies coming back to life, so if Doom rules apply, we're going the right way. That's where the basketball court is. Are we really backtracking this far? Oh my gosh, just, just cop it. Just, just take it. Wow, that really, really have a field day with that health, aren't they? So we're back in this room. I feel like this is wandering very, very far back. Like I don't think I I'm fairly certain it's not this far back, but then no. Yep, okay, I just wandered back to the very beginning of the map. Well, not to the very, very beginning. Might as well check the very, very beginning just in case, because, you know... Where am I hearing dudes? You're not just upstairs, are you? That's just... I'm here. it's... it's... <laughs> there's some real, like, relative sounds going on. That door, I assume, is just a way to get back. Just like, uh, this other door. Someone would have probably been yelling at me for not breaking that open sooner, though. So, at least I'm glad I went back for it. Also, wow, what is going on down here, man? I assume this is destroyed pylons, but it just looks very, like, futuristic because I've got this metal pipe and it's casually a warp. Some ammo and 
So let's warp. Let's warp. Put on your warping shoes and warp. Oh, well, that leads just back out, like, here. Hi. Okay, door wide open. Back down. How many caddos are at? 16. Let's go. There you go. I thought I was like, there must be a door here, right? It's not the most productive, like, exit. Though. Just set them on fire. Don't you do that with your headless people? I mean, if they were walking at me, I don't know. I'm just saying, they came at me first. Dang it. The dark. Let's uh, light it up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take another crack at what's in there. So I walk in here. We walk downstairs. We've got this, like, real nifty cool room, but it doesn't look like there's anything here. And I'm just wandering around, hopes and dreams. I uh, got a tube, we, leak, we got the tube, and we're just in this room. Now I can warp in here, but for some reason, it's like a little tiny room. This may be, and probably is, an exit to kind of late stage of the level to warp. I'm thinking it's that. But you know I've got to find that uh, accumulator, that, uh, you know, a pyramid. So uh, let's just uh, let's just drop and, and roll. Let's see if I can keep wandering around and maybe find the uh, the next continuation of the level. I don't think the level is that much longer, but I've gotten lost. So somewhere around here, I got a feeling it's probably near the end. It'd be very weird for the game to just suddenly ask me to backtrack the entire level. It's not the first time. So we had this room where I went up there, I exited down here, and I had unlocked a door that was through here. And I don't think anything I've activated afterwards really calls for coming back. Uh, there's that basketball court, which I got another thing that opened up like that gate that I just walked past. I wandered through here, where I then entered another outdoor area. This was just uh, was the other helicopter here, or was this just... I think this is just like going about. Going around. Uh, this required me to grab another key so that I could wander in... Maybe not in here, but like definitely down here. This door was like closed. I then, uh, found this, and I know I had to activate a switch in here. And to me, I am not very aware of what that switch activated. So we're just going to kind of keep looking for gates and other kinds of things that are open. Um, hi, how are you doing? How are you doing on this fine Monday? I'm pretty good, thank you. Uh, let's see, yeah, so this is where I was. That's the weird little blocked off staircase. It doesn't really look like there's any other exits in here. Like it's, it's a kitchen, it's got like kitcheny stuff. Uh, that is some wicked. Oh, that's just lighting. Mmm, sort of looks like Zed fighting. Sort of does. Ah, uh, wandering around. There's a guy. I love. I love that. Like that. Tell the guy hanging from the. He's not even hanging. He's just leaning his hands down. That's enough of a tell to get you to look up. Very nice. Uh, there's no other exits in this kind of geriatric room. And then we're back out via this top. There's no other exits. I can guarantee there's nothing else that would lead out here. And I came down here, and that's how I opened the gate, which opened this. It was closed before. And then I wandered through here, and this well, this was already open before, and I had already swiped that one. So, okay, so the solution or the destination lies further in the past. 
Now it makes sense to like somehow get a doorway back there and then walk up. This room is just closed off. There's no real way of going about it. And I got an item there. And it doesn't look like there's another exit up here. Right? I'm feeling that. So, we backtrack even further back. I can't think of... I'm hearing a guy. But I know that the boss doesn't... Like, it's not Sean up here. He's... Sorry, I say I'm hearing a guy. I'm hearing a gunfire in very particular spots. Look at that weight lifts. I guess this is the one, if you would. Um, now, I know that there may have been a secondary exit somewhere. I don't remember. I didn't check out the gym, so let's check out the gym. Um, this was where I had to get a key to basically open a before door. So I'm just curious if uh, what I've opened somehow means anything, like if I come back here. Does it mean anything? We've got the showers, a bunch of dead dudes. And the worst part is I followed the enemies for a bit, and then it's like, now the enemy stopped. Where do I go? There's something above me. There's some real action going on. Uh, this is sort of both goes back to the same room. But I'm pretty sure this was just to activate, uh, you know, a key card over here. Nothing fancy, just another key card, which was the way to continue. This was earlier in the level, so... There's something strange. Now, yep, you've got this door, but this just kind of leads back down, like, you know, to this side. So it all sort of stems off from the, the basketball court, but not really... Not really anywhere from it. Then yeah, if I wander too far back, we're back at the starting room. So the only thing I can then say is, well, is the starting room, like, complete? Maybe I'll check out this again, just to, just to make sure they didn't tuck away some cheeky little path down a little side hole. Someone's gonna be like, oh, what do you mean? It was obvious, you walked past a empty door like that one. Yeah, yeah, I deserve, I deserve that, it would be the last place left to look. It's a different yard, it's a different, it's a different indoor yard, don't worry, it's not the same one. Let's get that gun, G-U-N. Really would like a shotgun, but I know that's a different level. Spoilers. really coming at me, aren't they? Man, dude, things like this make me feel perfectly safe for, like, a zombie apocalypse, because it's just like, like, what are they gonna do? They're so slow. What you want... What you, you, you'd hate with a zombie apocalypse is to have it overrun and have, like, you know, the zombies in your place. But you can do things. You can lure them out. You can, um... Look at this pro platforming that you gotta do. Nope. Pretty sure it was platforming. I'm certain. I mean, I don't really see a hole up there, so it doesn't exactly look. Oh, pfft, duh. Stay down. This game must set the record for most number of headless police officers. That was just a regular guy, and I'm just ruining his day. It, it probably really ruined his... Like, imagine your luck. This is bad luck for every single person here. They're like, man, you know, I'm, we're all two days from retirement. And suddenly, mass psychosis, our heads are blown up, and uh, the rest of the body still feels like it's got to shoot something. Maybe it is instinct. You know, it's like frog legs. It's solid and they start to wiggle. I've never eaten frog legs, and I probably don't want it. Uh, yes, this is that door, that checkpoint door.
There must be something here. Your poor computer is sideways. Okay, time to turn the page or key. Okay. Wandering around. He is very okay with that. That looked like it opened up more than just this. Oh, look at that guy. He's wearing the orange. That's how you know they're the... Well, actually, that's how you know they're inmates. It's almost as if they do color coding in prison to help with the uh, designation. It sucks if you're full colorblind, though, because it probably does look the same. They probably have, like, stripes or something, maybe, to just help the police. Where, what prison has red lighting, by the way? Maybe someone's like, oh, what do you mean? Just love these shadows, even though you could sort of see a little bit of, a little bit of shadow clipping on the right there. It sort of cuts off in a little bit of a weird way, but that's okay. We're nearly at the end, but uh, there's still a ton of dead people. I think everyone in this game has been dead. It's not like Shadow Man shoots real people, please. Who has there been to shoot? Actually, no, I've, I've, I've shot real people. It was sooner earlier. You can barely tell that light is green. It's it's actually green, I swear. But the red light is so strong. There must be something around here. This should be. Hey, there you go. Shot gun. So if you thought the SMG was, you know, too good, that's okay because you can just go. It's a bit weak, ain't it? <laughs> he does shoot it with one hand though. Very nice. Ash Williams grip right there. Searching for more enemies. I know that there's probably a maze of like caddos still chilling in various places. Did I just pop that guy with a shotgun from that distance? That was an incredible shot. If that was the case, I don't know if it was. <laughs> and yeah, there's two. There's two floors. So uh, I'm just navigating around, going. Hmm. Going, but I am certainly making a fine powder out of uh, some of these inmates. Headless inmates. Ex inmates. Outmates? Oh no, they got the Hanukkah candles. This should be useful. Look at this. There we go. We got the accumulator. I think the game is just like, yeah, like defeat. <laughs> defeat the guy now. I still haven't gotten the teddy bear warp. I think actually, you know what? I remember off the top of my head, the teddy bear warp is at the end of the level. It's very uh, un regular. I guess is the term. I was like, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? It's very irregular for the warp to be at the end. Sort of throws you off if you go into the level and you are dying. And it's just like, yep. Shoot gun. No, that's just a regular guy. He was just—he was two days away from uh, getting out of prison and retiring. There's a lot of blood in this kid's game, isn't there? Now, if only there was like a rocket weapon of some kind. That'd be very useful this very second. But there's not. Uh, I got a hunch. One room somewhere in this like area is a. Uh, it's just a secret. It's like, eh, it's just a room, just like any other one. But no, 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 it's a secret. You gotta look in all of them. In case, in case you know, the hidden, the hidden glory room. Glory room. That's probably that's the worst thing to say in prison. 
Yeah, I take it back. I'd never want to go to prison. I'd be so, like, super unaccustomed. I'd keep saying, like, you know, like, innuendos all over the place. And I wouldn't even realize it. And people would be like, oh, you know, don't drop the soap. And I'm like, yeah, because I hate leaning over. That's my knees. This one's got a fancy door. Oh, it's, it's fancy on the outside. Uh, it doesn't seem like any of these doors meant anything special, but you know what? You can go downstairs. Where you can see even less, apparently. Yeah, okay, I take back. The shotgun is pretty cool, but it does, like, it really needs a media sound. It, it sounds like it's paper mache. And like a coin. Hey, there you go. So what do we get? What do we get as a secret? We got shotgun heads. My head's fine. I think there's lots of just giblets. I think that might be it. It's a bit subtle though. It's a bit subtle game. Oh yeah, even I'm like just feeling like just giblets all over the place. Makes the game more visceral and real. I'm actually surprised by like I, I I know I'm I'm generally like very desensitized to violence, but I'm like you know what I I think I've been killing like a lot of people in this stream. There's it's, it's lots of lots of the, uh, the, the dead variety. Uh, yes, by the way, that area just casually loops back around and gets very confusing. So I'm just gonna hope that I'm following the enemies of some kind. I know I got the shotgun here. I walked onwards. Uh, this area looks promising. Differently colored corridor. Always a good sign. I wonder what's around here. How many are we at? 22. Ooh, I don't know if I found the rest, but eh. I'm a bit eh, you know, for finding stuff. Good afternoon. May I help you? Uh, yeah, where's what the bathroom? What I meant to say was, is there something I can do for you? Can you yeah, point me to the bathroom? there's button? something you can do for me. And what is that, pray tell? You can get the hell out of my way. Ooh. Ah, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Hey, anything's possible, Doc. You, above all, people should know that. I'm sorry, did I call you people? My mistake. You aren't a person at all, are you? Are you? Don't tell me you're expecting some kind of answer to your rhetorical question. Oh yeah, I know banana. all about you, Doc. You think you're so smart. Look at you. So smug in your self-belief. The hero at the heart of your own pathetic power fantasy. But really, you're a little baby girl, aren't you? Deep inside, shivering inside, yeah. pissing your frilly little panties. Oh, come now. A squealing, puking, hairless puppy inside. Just, just now going you're through... mixing metaphors. So move out of my way, puppy dog. Go into a fight and say you what's I will himself. not move out of your way. I will not. Do you know who I am? Do you? <laughs> you're a little puppy dog. Don't call me that. I am Dr. Death. I am the Lizard King! Can't you see what I've accomplished here? I have brought his kingdom to Earth! I am the leader of the Five! You should fear me! Fear me! I pity you. Oh, just kick him in the... That wasn't very nice, now was it? Me him in the torso. For I shall sit at the right hand of the Lord! Did you know that? For we are many. Were you aware of that? You ant, you piece of excrement, you nothing. Oh. <laughs> Decked him in the face, though. Now, apocalypse, the end of all things. 
Your voodoo heart was many. correct, Michael D. <laughs> oh my gosh, the, the song. The end we is are one, nigh. But we are and many. it's sooner than that's, you that's, think. Oh no. And yeah, yeah, there's exactly five of them. Now obviously this guy is uh, very weak to shotguns. Oh, maybe it means heads because uh, uh, I seem to be shooting out his head every single time I hit him with a shotgun. He is, he is bowling. He's going. He's not even like making sure he's actually getting me. Come on, come on. You good? The worst part is the warp is right there, so like the very worthless death. There we go. He fell over, and he dropped a dropped a lovely jade stone for us, and a dark soul, which is mine. So, very very nice. Um, so now, lovely hymn music. Someone's gonna tell me it's real. There's a real tune here. Uh, we're gonna use the hand to scan that. Uh, I'm just for reference, I am holding someone's hand, holding the key card. Just. <laughs> Just to remind everyone that, that is the greatest keycard in all of games. Is it like a thing? Or that's, just, that's just part of the wall. Through the ending corridors, what we get? 22? 22. This one's a lot harder to find the Kettos in, because it's just, there's so many snaking corridors. I have no idea what's the layout of this place. Pop the Jemmy Stone in the Jemmy place figure out what's going wrong with the lighting. Like, what is... What is turning on and off? It's just... I can... Dude, you can't see anything else that's here. It's... <laughs> it's very dark. This will be the perfect opportunity to hide four Kato's behind. But no, they only hid two. So... Oh, we'll accept minus two, because... Eh. The point when I accepted not getting all the Kato's. Okay, just before we end the stream, let's go back here and change the piston. Uh, unfortunately, yes, no no shotgun, no no real-world weapons. But we can use this, which I have not been using for a bit. This makes people fall over. Where are we at? We're at five? I guess there are only two Dark Souls in the other, you know, route. I'm gonna be moderately upset if I have to backtrack in specific places because uh, I didn't count the, night, the right number of Dark Souls in each exit but we'll get there again I love I love the striking lighting even though that yes this is a wonderful wooden texture on every single wall I don't know it's fun cozy in ways There's like three things I want out of life. A moat, uh, an underground vault, and uh, a franchised KFC. So, you know. Who's to say I can't do all three in the same building? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I've just act oh, okay. <laughs> Keep activating all the doors. Uh, what's coming up this week that I thought would be exciting? I found out we got Battle of the Bands right now. I was looking forward to a recently announced King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album coming out on Friday. But you know what else? Who else is releasing an album the same day? Duran Duran. And it might be okay, but I've not listened to any of Duran Duran's newer stuff. All I know is apparently Rate Your Music really likes their 2004 album. Seems like a lot of artists that were like, you know, if you made some big albums 20 or 30 years later, you just somehow make a very well received one. Like, I guess it's not really 30 years, but like Chaos and Creation in the Backyard. Um, I'm a big fan of Counterparts, that one's a great one. Um, I'd argue, like, Yes, Magnification's a really good one. It's not amazing, but it's definitely like. It's not where I expected Yes to go, and it works. Lots of artists just have that like weird... Scott Walker's a great one, although that one's for very, very different reasons. Oh, hi there! Hi there, how you doing? Oh, am I holding the right thing? Dude, fighting two of them at the same time is uh, definitely more intense, but not like... I mean, 
I've got tons of health, man. They can't do anything. Actually, they can, but... There we go. So, I guess the Dark Soul is mine. But that's okay, because I also thought that uh, the Dark Soul are mine. Is mine. So what is that? Is that the- oh. We missed the 100, we went straight to 101. Um... So yeah, getting very close, getting very close to the end of the game. Because, really, again, the only thing that stops me from beating the game is, uh, the fact that I haven't- Like, I woke up at like 5 this morning to watch the F1. By the way, uh, if anyone didn't know, because you watched the end of the broadcast, um... Both Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc got disqualified from the race, which is like what? And apparently it was because uh, what was it? It's because the um the the rear flaps just had too much wear on it. Um, I think the take is uh, maybe the sprint race and just the increased like you know roughness of the circuit. Too many monster truck rallies on that track, I guess. Um, just cause too much wear. Uh, the two people who were checked, who succeeded, was Max Verstappen and I believe uh, Lando. Is it Lando? He's number four. I think he's number four. Um, so they were fine, but Lewis and Charles Leclerc were not. And uh, some people were also like they should check every car, um, which I kind of I do agree. I feel like yeah, if you're gonna disqualify some people for a random check, it's like yeah, it's probably you know probably good if like check every car um it's too late like once they gave that notice it was too late to try and check the other cars but you know in the future maybe that should be what they do because uh it's weird to disqualify these two and we're not very certain whether the other 16 were all fine although a lot of people <laughs> there are a few retirees already is this our third spiky just like bean that we've seen this stream, it's, it's just, it just, it never ends, the spiky beams are eternal. I will say, you know one thing, uh, as well, uh, I've usually never done, like, oh sorry, not, not never done, but like, uh, my general rule of thumb for my stream lengths is like two hours. Uh, I'll sometimes, have done some shorter streams, some people have made. I'm gonna go in here, just, just to see what's in here. Gosh, what is this noise as I'm walking along? It's just the noisiest, like, metal grate noise you've ever heard. It's strange, it's just... It's just the path, it just cuts in. Okay. Um... Oh, no! Oh, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Uh, but... Yeah, like, I mean, we're currently at 3 hours 7. This is not going to be a 4 hours stream. It's going to be done very soon. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, usually I try to, like, call it at 2 hours. Uh, this game, I've definitely felt I've needed more to do. I definitely thought, yeah, this... I was hoping for maybe a 2 hour... A 10 hour total game. I am a, I'm a dumby. That's how you know I'm tired. Because I've, I've been up for... It would actually be 18 hours at this point. <laughs> I need to get my rest, I tell you. I actually felt very tired just before I started streaming, and then I was like, now nah, when I'm talking a bunch, I can't sleep. Force me to talk, I will talk. And that's how you stay awake. Um, but yeah, like, I am... Like, I mean, I guess, what's the amount of viewing time people like? I haven't really fully gauged that, but I will definitely just add as well, I super appreciate... Um, there are some people who are just sticking around, and they're definitely watching large amounts of the stream vods when they come up, so very, very big things, and yeah, if you stick it to the end, I gotta figure out some engagement challenges, so I guess I'll just say, like, how long the streams do you like, because I usually aim for that two-hour mark, because I personally am like, yeah, you know, lots of people I watch, two hours a week is probably the most, like, I'd see them. they keep uploading tons, it's like, yeah, cool, it's lots of stuff, so let me know how you feel. Uh, three hour streams, no one for a very long time. Like it's 11.30 local time. 11.38 local time. Oh, hi there. I, I thought I was going to activate a switch, but sure.
I love how this is all that, like, that piston room level as well. Like, all of this exists in the piston room level, but it's all so secluded and so separate. And it's like, if you write down, it's like, what are you required to do? And it's like, turn all the pistons so that you can walk through? Going. What did I activate? I thought I was gonna activate the door, but uh, sorry, the um, the gate where the guy was. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Lots of enemies. Lots of enemies. This room isn't big enough for this thing. So what's in this room then? The flesh suitcase. The flesh suitcase makes a return. Very nice. Uh, lots of ammo and a door, and it's just a dead end for ammo, I guess, because there's no there's no caddos on this level. There's nothing to really see as well. I feel. Oh! Oh! Yeah! 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 <laughs> It just created a lift. <laughs> it just called a lift, you know? I like how this probably goes past an area that we've seen before. Don't think... Mm, I forgot if those enemies we summoned. Maybe not. behind us. Where does this lead? More Dark Souls? This is lots of Dark Souls anyway. Jeez. So we turn on the flicky and that just opens this door. Where there's another guy chilling it. What's he doing? It's just like the little, you know, the, uh, the chemical closet, if you will. Do you know what else is in the chemical closet? Oh yeah. A secret. I, I looked that one up. I was like, looks familiar. Yeah. What did we get with that secret? We got uh, alpha items. So I believe in this screen they're all the different uh, icons, I feel, I think. No, that looks the same. What is an alpha item? Oh, it's different in my hand. Wow, look how very different they all are. You know, that one. Actually, you know that one. They all just look like bones. <laughs> Was every alpha item just a variation of a bone? Now that is old school. The texture's even old. You can't even tell. That just that's supposed to just poke straight in them. This skull is a skull. Ooh, that's fancy. That's very different. And the shield's probably just a shield, and the skull's just a skull. Very cool. Very interesting. Very cool. Let's hop in here, because you'd be crazy to skip these. They are mine, so that's cool. Gotta have a Dennis drill and a crying child still. I'll, I'll never, I'll never refrain from mentioning it. Also, I just noticed these spikes on the top of the ceiling. That's kind of fun. I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday, by the way. This is probably not the thing I should be thinking about. <laughs> Why, yes, will the dentist use a giant drill this time? Probably. They always use that. Never look at the dentist tools. They're scary. Den Dennis is scary. I don't know, man. I, I, I know, they do the job, but it's like, man, you know, like, it's terrifying. They got sharp instruments, and they just go into your mouth, and it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> Real spookiness about Dennis. Uh... There's two levers, and I don't know which one's doing what. Oh, that's what that one does. 
get him with the uh, with, uh, good old faithful. So I'm amazed that there's a uh, six. Is, that, is, is this going to be Dark Soul number six? It's just out of like this particular boss area. It probably makes a little bit of sense given. Well, no, because they didn't have the other areas as well. We're going to see. I don't even know the layout of this place. Like this, this place just is a bit of a labyrinth. But like, I'm thinking off the top of my head. Well, since there were only three serial killer levels, and we've seen you know, one last week and the other two this week, the two that I haven't played are the ones added in this remaster. They were not in the originals, which means the areas that I go to, uh, you know, afterwards aren't in the original game, or were these areas reworked or redesigned? I don't know, off the top of my head. It's definitely gone on for a fair bit though. They put all their eggs in the, uh, in the uh, proverbial after the Lizard King level basket. Uh, not sure, yep, we're going up this way. I hate how they got these like locked doors on the way as well, that are just like purely there for show. Uh, this is the sixth one, the sixth of the pistons. Six old pistons. What's the code we're dealing with? Uh, 245. How convenient. Turn the piston up. Turn the piston up a bit more. Well, it's, oh, it's not a piston, it's a valve, a tube, if you will. And then we're gonna turn this one all the way around. Two more times, one more time. And we're golden. The piston turns off. And we have now officially turned off, I think, all the even numbered pistons. Con con coincidentally, they're all on this side, but uh, in order to keep going, you gotta get the other three. Uh, I think with that, let's uh, let's do a walk back to. I'm still holding onto the key card, by the way. Just just thought I love that. That's in the menu. Um, Let's just walk back to uh, to the Prophecy Chamber, because I seem to be ending every stream in the Prophecy Chamber. I thought that's cool. Um, but we killed two more of the serial killers. Two more to go. 105 Dark Souls. There's only 15 left. Uh, and uh, we might do a little bit of a Kado hunt. We'll see. Here we go. Um, there's definitely at least one, two, three... Four, five, six levels. Six levels. Six other levels that involve at least visiting, including... We'll probably start off with this one, because we, we need to pick up that item and start using it in places. Oh, seven levels, sorry. Seven. And, uh... But yeah, we'll save the game there. We are at ten hours thirty-one. Yeah, this game's, this game's a bit lengthy, but that's cool. Anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very much uh, for sticking around and watching this. If you enjoyed uh, bits of the stream or the whole stream, uh, then you can follow on Twitch where you'll be notified or Pleroma or Twitter. I guess I cross post that just so you know when the stream's out. And if you missed parts of the stream, uh, well, the VOD's always available uh, on Twitch for a week. And uh, if it's been longer than a week, you're not going to see it on Twitch, you're going to see it on YouTube, because that's just how it works. Also, if uh, the VODs, I guess, up on YouTube anyways, like, at the same time, so... <laughs> um, so yeah, give me a bit, I will process that video, and it will be on YouTube, so that's cool. Uh, other than that, yeah, I guess lots of cool music coming out, and uh, we still got a little bit of the spooky season left. There's still one more, one more stream of October, hopefully, if I can, if I can cram it in right, one more stream of Shadow Man, and then we're done, and uh, we've got actual Halloween coming up very, very soon. So until then, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late like I have, and uh, yeah, I hope that King Giz album was good because Petro Dragonic was uh, super good. So, peace.